Hello, hello! What's up, everyone? Uh, let me see if I can get my game running here. Oh, there we go. Okay! Uh, one and only Mundo, welcome! BTR Mello, welcome. How you guys doing? Happy end of the week. I'm gonna be squeezing in a Dragon Ball RPG stream today. The last time we played, we ended up, um... We, we found a couple of Dragon Balls on Planet Namek with Gohan and the gang. And now they're bringing us back to Goku. I think the last enemy we defeated was uh, Kiwi, who like suddenly attacked and blew up our ship. So now we're heading back to Goku. We're probably going to be doing some training with him. I'm not really sure how it works. What is this eating stuff for? Oh, it's probably just like a heal. Alright, let's go upstairs. This must be the uh, gravity training room. Hey, what's up, you and the one? Welcome. How you doing? Oh, hang on. How do I use this thing? Okay. I have to adjust the gravity before I can train. Warning! You could die if you don't stop. Goku has 10 days left. Choose the level of gravity training. Ooh. Hang on. Do you think we can start with 20 or is that too much? <laughs> Let's do let's do ten. We'll, we'll we'll keep it simple at first. I don't want to waste any turns. Let's see, gravity set to ten times. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm assuming it's like the training on King Kai's planet. So maybe we just try to pick the highest cards available. Okay. Resist the gravity. Oh wait, at 10 times gravity, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty weak. Tati, you're on a different time zone. Your streams used to be at a much earlier time for me. I'm, uh, I'm streaming at the same time as always, but, um, I am running a little late sometimes. Like, uh, on last time when we were streaming Dragon's Dogma, I think I was late by three hours because I overslept, but normally I would, uh, start around this time. Oh, I, I know. Does your uh, does your time zone suffer from daylight savings? Maybe it's daylight savings. Also, synapse, what's good? Yeah, because in the US we have daylight savings, but maybe you live in a more sensible part of the world. <laughs> you guys want to try 440 gravity? Is that too much? I said it's a 40. Let's see how it goes. I got a Z card. It's actually not bad. I wonder if we can get away with 10 times training. It seems to be the. Oh wow. It seems to be like they want you to just pick the gravity based on how many. Um, how many cards you have available that can deal with it? It's hard to fail this part. Really? Even at 10 times gravity? I'm scared to try 10 times gravity. Well, what happens if I pick one? I mean, it's almost dead. No! <laughs> Come on, Goku, you can do it! Just one more hit. Nice! Level 21, baby. No, it's because it says a hundred. Yeah. Can we try a hundred? Is this too much? Might be too much. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in. We're gonna use our super. If it even matters. No! Hang on. How much HP does I have left? Go on, Goku! Oh my god! Holy crap! It has so much HP! I might fail. I might fail, bros. I don't have any items either, huh? 
I think I can't pass this one. <laughs> Richard, what's up? Welcome, Richard. I'm about to eat shit. You just did the lower ones? Yeah, this is too much. Hopefully it doesn't penalize us too much for uh, not training properly. <laughs> it's just like the show. They always have like a scene from the show where they show the characters getting- Wait, what? Did I just die? Goku. Ah! <laughs> I just fucking disappeared. Oh! Oh no! Frieza! Oh wow, that's so cool! The game over screen actually changed to Frieza. Because normally it's Vegeta when you're in Saiyan Saga. I guess it switches it up. <laughs> we just ate shit! What is this shit? Hang on. <laughs> I can't believe I died to the gravity machine, dude. Only the uh, first training has the penalty of Goku being late to fight Nappa. So this one I just take as long as I want? I would assume that he had a time limit, but I guess not. Yeah, because he's on his way. He's on the spaceship on the way to Namek, right? There's a healing machine downstairs, so... I guess I could just heal up when I get beat up. Oh wait, I didn't mean to pick that. Sorry. We'll start light. We'll start light, get the weak cards out of the way. Huh. Wow, one time? Just one turn? No, I do have days. I do have a time limit. Sarah Batari, welcome! Is how you do a tribute to the goat? Good stuff. Dude, yeah. I, uh... You know, I've always wanted to play more Dragon Ball games on stream, but with Toriyama's passing, it definitely, like, pushed those plans forward. I was like, no, nah, we gotta do it. Does it even matter if I use a super card? There's one DBZ RPG that people speedrun. Yeah, I've actually seen some speedruns. Like, I didn't watch the whole thing, but it really is amazing how much knowledge people have about the game. So do GT Final Battle and Ultimate Battle 22. I never got to own a copy of Ultimate Battle 22, but I used to play a lot of Final Bout at my friend's house. Oh wait, I think I fucked up. I, I think t times 50 is too much. Or 50, 50 amount is too much. Oh, I'm about to die. Wait, I should've stopped. I should've stopped. My bad. I had the option to stop. Try harder! Oh, he's about to explode. Oh! <laughs> oh wait, I'm okay? I'm alright. Uh, that's cool. It's funny, because when I was a kid, Final Bout was really fun to play, and I think it's because... I liked the, uh, I liked the graphics and the music. <laughs> Cause at the time, they were like a really big deal. To have like a 3D Dragon Ball fighting game. Like I can't really think of any other 3D Dragon Ball games in the early, like, PlayStation era. I guess there's like Dragon Ball Legends or whatever. But that one's like pseudo 3D. Yeah, and the music was so good! The music's fucking incredible in Final Bout. I still think the soundtrack fucks. See, Kipney was like, what the hell is this? When I was playing it, I wasn't used to the Japanese voices. It's also why DBZ is one of the few shows that were for English only. Yeah, I think a lot of people are used to whatever they, like, grow up with. Because Dragon Ball and English and Japanese are so fucking different from each other. Like, I grew up uh, watching a little bit of both. And so I never really minded the Japanese. I actually like it more in some ways. Da, da, da. Star Wars Z. Oh, hang on. <laughs> it censored your message. Twitch, Twitch thought you were being racist. 
But no, that's fair. I think I think they do sound really different. I think the biggest one that people dislike is like uh, Goku's voice, right? Like Goku in English and Goku in Japanese are completely different characters. I don't know if people have an issue with the other ones. I like JP Goku a lot. I, I think JP Goku's great. I think he like fits the monkey man character that I want him to be. You know, even in, like we've been watching Dragon Ball on the Discord lately, on Med's Discord, and seeing the time skip from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z when he like grows up, it's really cool like how even then like you can hear his voice kind of like deepen. Like Masako Nozawa puts in so much effort trying to include little subtle differences between kid Goku and adult Goku. Maybe even go on. Just realized the Marvel Midnight Suns game must have borrowed some strategy from the series. Wait, you think so? I was watching my friend play a bit of that game. And I know it has like a card game battle system. Is it actually like similar? I really like this game's battle system, Emerald Poison. Also, what's up, Emerald? Yeah, I think I think it's really clever for its time, especially. Should we stick to 40? Maybe we can do 50. You think we can do 50? <laughs> I'm scared. Problem with the voice is that it works when he's a kid, but not when he's an adult. I, I disagree. I, I think that I think it still works really well as an adult because he's supposed to be like a fucking monkey man. Right? He, he's Son Goku, like, when you think about Journey to the West Son Goku. I think it's because the English Goku has kind of given you an image of Goku that wasn't originally intended, right? But, like, Nozawa's voice is basically handpicked by Toriyama. And so it's, like, it's his vision of who Goku is supposed to be, right? Yeah, no, I, I I think I think it's like basically whatever you're used to, but I don't I don't think the JP voice is bad at all. I don't think I've heard of English Goku. Really? Have you just somehow avoided it for all your life? <laughs> How? How is that even possible? Should I do 60? I'll try 60. I remember playing this way back when and I was uh, playing Midnight Suns not that long ago and wondering why it felt familiar. Having your abilities on your cards and slowly learning how to play faster with them by recognizing how to order them happens in both. Oh, I see. I think the cool thing about this game that I really like is there's a... There's like an attack and a defense rating on every single card, right? And so you're constantly juggling the act of like... Hello. It's like, do I want to deal damage? Even if it means I'm going to take a lot of damage on the counterattack, you know? Like, you have to assess those kinds of risk-reward situations a lot. Hehe, <laughs> walk on! What's good? Honestly, I haven't really played a ton of, like, card game RPGs. I know there's a lot of them, but I just... I, I, it's never been something I've gotten a chance to do. And so it's kind of fascinating to me still. Yo, what's up, Swinky? What's good, man? When are we gonna run some sets in Unity 2? I'm down to play, dude. Are you gonna stream it again anytime soon? Dude, Swinky just started playing Uni 2 out of the blue. It's crazy. <laughs> Insane. It's like not the thing I expected. When I saw you on my like Twitch category, I was like actually kind of surprised. Had your crash day today? Just out one class and then passed out all day? Dude, that sounds so nice. I slept for most of the day too, so I felt like I didn't really have a Sunday. I wanted to uh, watch that one movie. There's like a movie out in theaters called Late Night with the Devil. And the premise is pretty cool. 
the premise is like uh it's a live broadcast on tv that goes horribly wrong and like unleashes evil into people's households as they're watching from home like i really wanted to see that but then when i uh when i got tickets and ended up going to my theater it turned out like there was nowhere to sit <laughs> Like all the seats in the the middle and the back were all taken, so Oh what the fuck? We're switching to Piccolo? How's Piccolo doing? <laughs> this is so funny. Cause normally Piccolo would be accompanied by like Yamcha, Tian, and Chatsu, but he's alone in my playthrough because all the humans survived. He's the he's the only guy in King Kai's planet right now. See, Battle Network and One Step from Eden are card based and don't work like that. See, I've been waiting to. wanting to play forever, but never really had the time. Probably won't be streaming it a ton more, but definitely want to play more. Yeah, dude, just hit me up, I guess. I'll. you know, I'll be free throughout the week. So you learn to master the gravity. Alright, let's go. let's go train with Piccolo now. I guess we're switching between Goku and Piccolo. Stop before uh, zero HP. You can use 10 cards. See, I got a 5, 4, 2, 2, and 1. Let's use, let's use 5 first. See you bumming around King Kai's place? <laughs> he's training! He's not bumming out! He, he's, he has plans to go back to Namek. What's up, Gallows? I just hope I'm optimizing my training with Goku. I know this game has some really weird stuff where, like, if you do something wrong, it, like, actually affects the rest of your playthrough. Like, it changes your ending or some shit. I know there are different endings in this game that can change depending on what you do. I just don't know the specifics. Sucks because I have to use all my cards before it reshuffles into a new deck. Alright, here we go. What do we got? 1Z44. Oh, that's pretty good. I think the key to this minigame is you just want to start strong. Just use all your good cards first. It's actually pretty simple. What's fascinating to me, though, is that they've decided to, like, include the training montages as part of the game. Because I feel like you don't really see that in other RPGs, right? We adapted to 10 times gravity. Nice. Wait, wasn't Goku, like, level 19 or some shit? <laughs> Piccolo's still 15. I'm thinking they just had to set level Goku gets by the end of 10 days to avoid making him too strong. Oh, that would make sense. They did that kind of in, uh, in the Saiyan Saga too, right? Like, if you hit level 4 during Raditz's arc, it just teleports you to Raditz, so you don't get to grind too much. Like, they're constantly keeping tabs on, uh, on your level cap, right? Goku's like 21 plus. So, I see. So as long as I finish within those 10 days, it's fine, huh? It doesn't really matter. If I finish early or not. Yeah, Goku's training on the spaceship, Piccolo's training in King Kai's, and they're both planning to head back to Namek, right? Because Piccolo's going to get revived through the Dragon Balls. And Goku's just going on a spaceship because I think he was like hospitalized during the uh, Saiyan Saga. See, I remember he was at least 19 and you did a jump and leveled up two levels. Wait, for real? That's sick. <laughs> I didn't know that was what happened. No, the Z fighters are on Namek. No one's bombing. There's no one bombing at all. The Z fighters are fighting for their life on Namek. Hiding from the scary-ass Frieza Force members. At least there's more of them on Namek this time. There's my Tian Chaozu and... Uh, my Tien, my Chatsu, and my Yamcha survived the Saiyan Saga. And so they're hanging out with Gohan and Kurlin. 
in a way that is not canonical. Ba -da 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 -da. Let's go! There's like that thing in the end of movies where they like jump into the air and like the screen freezes. <laughs> it's like, yeah! Yeah! No, they're getting revived anyways. Wait, why not? You don't want to revive the humans? How do they get revived normally? I guess the Namekian Dragon Balls revive everyone, right? It revives like multiple people. Yeah, we need Piccolo to come back so that we can have Kami back. That's like the big thing. That's how this story still, like, functions even if the humans are not dead. It's because they need Piccolo to be alive for the Dragon Balls to be, uh, not inert. <laughs> but the balls are inert right now, and so that's very bad. <clears throat> it's not good. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if my throat's kind of sore today. It doesn't make a bit of difference, Gohan. The balls are inert. Means a fellow Dune or two? Yeah, really? He finally saw it? What did he think of the Dune? I gotta ask him what he thinks. Da -da. <laughs> I feel bad for the humans, honestly, in this show, because it's like, it's not even their fault they suck. They just got hit with shonen power scaling, right? They do their best to keep, like, Krillin and Yamcha relevant at all times, but it's just too much for them to handle. They still show up occasionally, too, to, like, try to help out with some of the boss fights. Like, Tien actually puts in quite a bit of work with some of those uh, Neo Tribeams against the uh, major villains like Cell and Boo. And then he like he he's killing himself as he does it, right? Because every time he does Neo Tribeam, he's actually killing himself. He's like shortening his lifespan. <laughs> and all he does in the story is like he's just stalling, right? But it's that's what makes him so uh, so likable. I had a friend. Um, I had a friend who was actually like his favorite character was Tian. His favorite character in the entire series. And I always thought that was weird at first when I was younger, but as I've gotten older, it makes a lot more sense. I'm like, oh yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense because like, you know, Tien might not be the strongest guy in the show, but he does what he can, right? He does everything that's in his power, even if he knows he's not like the main guy who's going to save the day. And I think that's really something we can all learn from. I think it's very valiant, very noble. Zaliver, welcome. Yeah, he held off Cell with Tribeams for a while, dude. It was just him. <laughs> he shows up in this cool fucking, like, Dark Souls cloak. Like, this wandering vagrant cloak and just does shit. He gets shit done, dude. <laughs> I appreciate that DBZ, uh, or DBFZ makes the humans actually, like, strong and usable. Like, all the characters in that game are badass to play. I think it's gonna be different with, uh... What do you call it? With Sparking Zero? I have a feeling Sparking Zero will be balanced similarly to the old Tenkaichi games. Which is to say that it won't be balanced at all. <laughs> it, it'll be, like, accurate to the show. So, like, if a character is weak in the show, like Mr. Satan, they will also be a weakling in the game. Like, the vibe I got from Tenkaichi series was that it was always more of a Dragon Ball simulator than a Dragon Ball fighting game, right? It's not meant to be something you're gonna be playing competitively, necessarily. But it's more like, hey, I want to, like, pit two characters from the show against each other as kind of like a dream match kind of thing. Because I never got to watch these two characters fight, and I wonder how it would go, right? Yeah, Sparking Zero is most likely not going to be at Evo, but I don't know. It's weird to think about because there's so there's been so much time that has passed since the last Tenkaichi game, and so I do wonder if they're going to make it different at all. 
Like, no doubt the game is going to have online play, and it's going to have, like, a leaderboard and stuff like that. And so people are going to be playing it, quote-unquote, competitively. I just don't know how well balanced it's going to be. Like, there's going to be a meta, right? There, Piccolo! Your training is finally complete! But... I have a little surprise! You'll now fight Nappa and Raditz! Wait, what? <laughs> what? What kind of surprise is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? Both of them at the same time? <laughs> Wait, is he strong enough? <laughs> I might... Okay, I can hit them both with this card. Piccolo attacks again, I mean, this is insane. King Kai, you're a fucking nut. Why did you invite the Saiyans to this planet to beat up on me? Piccolo's way stronger. Oh yeah, you're right. God, the power scaling goes so hard in this game. You really do feel like a character from the show. Like, we barely fought this character last arc. <laughs> and now we're like beating his ass. I'm not even a Saiyan either. I'm just Piccolo. Piccolo's gonna get buffs later on too. Because he's gonna be able to absorb Nail and the other Namekians. Nappa couldn't even take on Goku at 8k BP. Right! Yeah, Nappa was never a challenge for Goku, I guess. But Nappa, if he fought like Yamcha and Tien, he fucked them up, right? He was so much stronger than the other members of the party. Does Piccolo need to jump that high for a single punch? <laughs> it's cool, trust! He needs it. Da -da -da. Let's see. We're gonna use this card, we can attack them both. Favorite card! Attack all enemies. Da -da -da -da. Huh, huh, huh. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Fear! Fear is the mind killer. <laughs> That's such a sick line, dude. I'm gonna say that from now on. I'll be playing like Bet and Brittle. I'm gonna, I'll be like scared to do a certain jump, and I'll just be like, no, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Do not fear. Do not falter. Dreams are messages from the deep. <laughs> Hey, yo, we got that Z? This will give me 7 defense, but 1 attack. <laughs> Thing is, I don't know how much HP they have. Let me see. How much would, how much damage would this do? Probably not a lot. But I'm kind of curious. Let's just see. Fear nerds my balls. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. 1 damage? Damn, 7 defense goes hard. Yeah, the way defense works in this game is it's- Oh, that's sick. He did the Dragon Ball Jump H. Oh, the follow-up! They should have a... An option to recruit Nappa and Raditz into your team in this game. So that you're all fighting the Frieza force together. Actually, <laughs> I went on GameFAQs. And there was like a random topic where someone ended up buying... Like... Like a boot leg copy of the game where Frieza was playable. <laughs> I don't know, it was, weird. it was weird. They were talking about it in, in Game Facts. They were like, Yeah, I bought this bootleg copy where I was just able to play as Frieza and also, like, Gohan could turn Super Saiyan, like Kid Gohan, but it can only do it once. <laughs> it was weird. I wonder if that copy is online. That reminds me of the DBZ game from the PS1, but I don't remember the name. A PS1 game? Was it 2D or 3D? Because that would narrow it down a lot. <laughs> How much damage does this do? Let's see special beam on him.
Get fucked, bro. Damn, it actually killed him? He actually died? That's crazy. That was like only a... a one or something. Alright, any more surprises? I don't think I don't think he can throw any more enemies at me unless he also revived Kiwi. <laughs> you gonna send Kiwi to me next, King Kai? You psychopath. Just think about the ethics of that. Like those Saiyans just died, and then he's sending Piccolo to like kill them again when they're in heaven or whatever. Is this heaven? I guess so. <laughs> Good job! You fought very well, Piccolo! Thanks, man. Meanwhile, on planet Namek. Oh, Dragon Ball Legends? That was the 2.5D one. That one's like... 2D sprites with 3D backgrounds, right? I love that one. That was one of my favorite games ever. It was like the first one to really capture the Dragon Ball fighting style in a video game. Because there's other Dragon Ball games, right? Where it's like... They don't move like Dragon Ball characters. They do Dragon Ball attacks, like they're doing sh attacks in the show, but the way it moves and the way it feels does not feel like Dragon Ball. Like, I, I don't think Budokai feels like Dragon Ball at all. Even though a lot of people like Budokai, it's like one of my big gripes with that, that game series. Like, everything's so weighted. Also, whoa, Vegeta's fighting Zarbon? It's been a long time, Zarbon. Vegeta, dirty traitor. Dodoria is dead. Are you surprised? What? You lie. No, I will show you my new power. You're bluffing. Damn, he's gonna 1v1 him? Doesn't he get his ass kicked, though? <laughs> oh, I don't even get to control him. This is a CPU battle. Yo! This is sick! <laughs> this is so cool! Ah, no! Haha! <laughs> you are weak, Zarbon! Huh? How can you- Now, you will know my true power. Elsewhere on Namek. We'll be safe here. Where are you going to train? Hehe. <laughs> What's your name? Dende. Who are you? I'm Gohan. We're looking for the Dragon Ball to revive our friends. Listen, I'll take you to our father. Your father? Yes, the creator of all Namics. Okay. Our paths must separate. Good luck in the future. Thanks for everything. Good luck. Oh, the two uh, Namekians are leaving my party? Yeah, it's Samudi and Emmy. Goodbye, dudes. You were kind of useless, but <laughs> thanks for accompanying me anyway. SS Gohan and Golden Ape Vegeta were cut content? Really? So they actually had plans to put it in? I know Vegeta and Goku can turn Super Saiyan in this game. Like, Goku would turn Super Saiyan if you have someone die in the final battle against Frieza. And then Vegeta is like an optional boss fight that you do if Goku turns Super Saiyan successfully. This game gave me huge spoilers from the anime. I didn't know much about the Boo Saga. Oh, the, the, the Dragon Ball Legends game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to play that one ev eventually, actually, on stream. I think that'd be cool. It's weird those signups because the Super Saiyan sprites are like really lazy. All they do is they take the character's hair color and turns it yellow. <laughs> but like the sprite is the exact same, right? It doesn't look any different at all. It's like super lazy. They didn't even bother. I guess we're back to finding the Dragon Balls, huh? What the hell? Those are new enemy types. We're probably on a new map now. 
<laughs> oh, that's cool. I entered a battle, and then when I came back, Bulma set up like a little capsule house. Can she heal us? Hello, boys. Are you okay? I'm cooking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you cooking? Text is fucking all over the place. Alright, let's see here. So the Namekians left us. Wait, why do I have two Dendes? Is that a bug? <laughs> why is there two Dendes? What is this shit? Unless one of them's not Dende. Emmy stats? That's the brother? Who? <laughs> oh, he was the one um, who we found in the... The, uh, the vase, right? He was the dude that was, that was hidden. Oh shit, there's some Dragon Balls to the northwest. Let's use the fly glitch. Dun, dun, dun. There's a glitch you can do where... You can press Y three times before flying. And it'll prevent you from getting into battles while you're in midair. Normally, this mechanic increases the encounter rate by a lot. But we're able to get around that using the glitch. I like using it just because it saves time. <laughs> and makes sure that like we're not running into random battles every single like two seconds. Won't, won't, won't. But I am going to be exploring these houses just to make sure we see everything that's going on around here. Who are you? I'm Dende, and these are my friends. Dende? Or friends? <laughs> they look like warriors. But if you say so, I believe you. My friends, you should know. There's a monster named Frieza. He's searching for the Dragon Balls to gain immortality. Thank you for the warning. I don't know how you found a good translated version of this. I don't know if it is good, Turbs. <laughs> it's okay. I wouldn't call it good. Good is not the word I would use. It's serviceable, for sure. But there's still some bugs and stuff. Like earlier, we just saw some text like leave the message box. Yeah, and this is like the updated translation too. Because I played a translation back in like early 2000s or something maybe even late 90s and then this one is actually from 2016 this one's actually a lot more recent it's crazy that Bulma didn't die in this saga Bulma dying would be really sad oh there's a training thing shit we, we gotta do this who do we train though because last time we trained Tien, and then we trained Gohan. Now I don't know who to train next. It feels like... It feels like the way the game is... Like, Gohan... and Goku and Piccolo are like, top three, right? I could be wrong. <laughs> but it, it does feel like Gohan, Goku, and Piccolo are like, the most worth investing in. Yeah, I want to replay this in JP2 signups. I actually have the uh, the JP version ready and I've been going through it on occasion just to do studies. It's not the greatest practice since there's not like a ton of kanji support in the game. Aside from like the character portrait stuff. But I guess it's still nice as regular like reading exercise and understanding grammar and stuff, right? Yo, Hanzo! Hanzo, what's good, man? Thanks for the thanks for the raid. How was your stream? What are you guys up to today? Welcome in, welcome in. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, what do you guys think we should do? Because we have to train someone, right? Do I train Gohan again? Because he already has so much key. We can give Curlin some love. You're doing F14 stuff in uni combos? Sick! I'm glad people are still playing uni. That game had a really rough launch. 
I want to get back into it too, but I'm like so swamped with other games. Oh, Hanzo, are you interested in Dragon's Dogma, dude? You should play Dragon's Dogma. That seems like your type of shit. Oh yeah, did you play- I heard you play Jump King. <laughs> I didn't get to watch, but I heard you play Jump King. Fucking, how far did you get in Jump King? The Warband protested me playing Jump King. I played one on stream. And then I'm waiting for them to fix two. Yeah, that's true. Two is like... The PC version's kind of fucked right now because of all the optimization issues. <laughs> Buff Chatsu? Chatsu training arc? I think we should do Curlin next. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna train Curlin. Just for funsies. Kudirin! You got the campfire in Jump King? I think I know where you're at. Unless you mean the bottom campfire. Unless you mean like the starting point. <laughs> is that what you meant? You mean where the old guy is? Play Jump King for an hour before giving up and playing FF10. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love Jump King. Game kind of fox. I would never play it again, but <laughs> I, di I did finish all the uh, the different DLCs. We'll get Hansa to play a difficult game about climbing one day. Play a uh, Bet and Brutal. Just gift Hanzo Bet and Brutal. And be like, here, a curse upon you until you beat this. Not enough key, fuck off. I gotta heal every single time I wanna train. I can't believe this game promotes grinding. Insane. Just like the real Dragon Ball. Curlin gets a Kakazandan, which is always AoE. Wait, for real? I need an AoE. It feels like there's not a lot of AoE spells. Yeah, I, th I think that's the play then. We should upgrade Curlin. Let's see this. What did you do in your playthrough for the human synapse? Did you upgrade every single one? Or rather... You know how the Elder Namekian gives you, like... The, uh, unlocked potential thing? Did you end up just unlocking everyone's potential? Or did you keep some characters... The same? Because I was thinking about it and it's like, it's kind of nice having different... Card types, right? So that you can at least, like... Make use of all the AoEs. Because if I buff everyone, they'll all they'll all have the same element. Don't remember if you get an option. Really? Is it just straight up automatic? This is basically Dragon Ball Pokemon mechanics. I don't know if there's much Pokemon in it, but. It's like a... It's kind of like a pseudo card game mechanic. You basically have a bunch of different cards show up in your deck every single turn. And each card has like a different attack and defense rating. So the top left card, or the top left of the card has the Dragon Ball. That goes from 1 to 7. And then the bottom right also goes from 1 to 7. And that's attack on the top left and defense on the bottom right. The uh, the top left one's easy to tell because it's just number of stars. Now the bottom right's kanji, so you have to like know how to read 1 through 7 in kanji. <laughs> it's not too bad. And then Z is like basically the highest rating, and it counts as a 10. So it goes from 1 to 7, and then 10. Also, uh, certain cards will allow you to use super attacks. So you got to do like all the iconic attacks from the show. But also, um, 
certain cards will also have like kanji that matches with your character's like type. Like Gohan uses this type here, which is like the demon type attack. And if I use this card specifically, it allows him to hit every single character on the map. So it's like an AoE. There's a lot of cool stuff like that in this game. You also get to like choose who to send out for attacks, so like whoever you don't send out, they just stay in reserve and they don't like put themselves at risk. They can't get attacked unless you send them out. But uh, character deaths are permanent, so if a character like Tien dies, I think he just stays dead unless you can like revive him with Dragon Balls or some shit. But that might be like a limited thing. If Gohan or Goku or like, you know, sometimes Piccolo, if those characters die, it just automatically game overs. Yo, it's good, Darksider. How much money for Tasa to play through every Legacy of Goku game? Legacy of Goku? I don't know. I heard the I heard people like the second game a lot. I was like looking back at the reviews for that game because there's three of them, right? And people seem to hate the first and third, but the second one actually gets a lot of praise. I'd be open to trying it, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like my kind of thing. Because I remember playing it when I was younger, just growing older and stuff, and looking back at it, it doesn't seem like that amazing of a game. Like, there's other Dragon Ball games I like more. It's your birthday? Hey, happy birthday, Banfanoi! Do you have any plans today? Happy boards. Three wasn't bad. I have fond memories of all three. But which one is like better, in your opinion? Da -da 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 -da. If you play one, you'll quickly realize wolves are the worst thing to fight in the whole game. Like, why are we fighting wolves, man? Why are we- why are we- why are we fighting little wolves in the Dragon Ball game? Two is best because you can fight cooler. Have you ever played, um... The 3DS Dragon Ball RPG Dark? Yeah, have you ever played Attack of the Saiyans? That game's where it's at. That's my favorite Dragon Ball RPG. Even more than this one. And this one's pretty fun. I didn't really like get to appreciate this one very much when I was younger, because I didn't understand what the fuck was happening. I just remember having a good time and thinking it was cool. But now that I'm like going back and now that I understand the gameplay mechanics, it's actually a really, really clever game. Like, it would have been cool to see more games of this type. They, they kind of stopped making them. There's a couple on the NES, so I'd like to go back and try those out. You haven't played Attack of the Saiyans? Play Attack of the Saiyans and get back to us. I'm really curious if you'll like it. Because I love that game so much. It's like a legit, a good Dragon Ball game, even if you don't care about the Dragon Ball parts. Like, it's just really fun to play. Advanced Adventure win. Did Med beat Advanced Adventure? He did, right? So now he's streaming at the other time. My game doesn't overstay its welcome, which I appreciate. Like you spend a good five, six hours in it and you're like, awesome. I'll play this again in like another couple years, <laughs> right? Got my dose. I'm gonna keep these Z cards. 
What level's Dende now? I see. Eventually Dende is gonna be able to heal for us, but I think he needs to be level 3. Battle of Z. I heard that was one of the sus ones. I heard Battle of Z is very sus. Battle of Z and Sagas. <laughs> Those are like the two. The game is so bad. Bro, it's like, how do you make a bad Dragon Ball game anymore? There's so many previous Dragon Ball games that you can just look back to and be like, okay, just copy that. I feel like Dragon Ball games are more likely to suffer from feeling the same at this point than they are from, like, feeling like bad games. So the only thing they can do now is just, like, play it safe and make something boring, but at least that's, like, you know... It's very inoffensive. <laughs> Kind of why I was really into uh, Dragon Ball the Breakers. Because I know Breakers is kind of jank, but at least it tried something different, right? It took the Dragon Ball IP and did like a completely new thing with it. And so I really hate that Dragon Ball fans gave that game shit. People were not ready. They're like, no, why are you having a Dragon Ball game where you plays civilians. It's stupid. I'm like, no, it's genius. It's amazing. It's a masterpiece idea. You're stupid. Dun. Dude, that is easy card. Hey, really? I didn't, I didn't see. I didn't see. That's crazy. If a boss gets his easy card, that's like, you're just fucked. I did find a cool uh, strategy from last time we streamed this game, though. Because I have a Piccolo card here that lets me change an enemy's card. But what's cool about it is I, uh, it allows me to see what card is currently in the opponent's hand before I decide to change it. So if I never use it, I'll always have the ability to see what's in the enemy's hand. Like, you can just take a peek. It's kind of broken. <laughs> Big charge. In the menu, you see how Poir is next to Kyo cards? That's how I've used the uh, perma buffs. The what? You mean these ones? Restores 10 key points. Wasn't there like a bug or something? Where the items weren't being used properly? And so you could just like... Apply them and it becomes like a permanent thing. There's like hella bugs in this game apparently. curious about the fan game for this game. I know I said earlier that they stopped making games of this series, but apparently there's an RPG Maker fan game where someone in Japan like made it and tried their best to make it very similar. I played Relink of Complete Strangers on Discord today. For whatever reason, they kept gravitating to me. Gravitating? You mean they like you? I think it's finished, Synapse, yeah. I don't know how far it goes, but apparently it's finished. We should play it. I hope it's accurate to, like, this battle system. 
Because I did hear it was like an, an RPG Maker game, right? You press a down or up plus A, and during the frames it takes to change, the item will still bug. That's crazy. How do they not catch that? <laughs> Wait, whoops. Oh, well, we could probably save that one. Let's get rid of this card. Ain't no way! Oh, he's too weak, dude. It's all the menu lag. <laughs> That's wild. Why is there menu lag? Why is that a thing? Hey, what's up, Perseverin? Welcome in. What is your question? Oddly enough, I've gotten a bunch of DMs from Reeling people saying they think I'm cool, but I usually hit the ignore button because I barely talk there, and when I do, it's about Sherlock or game mechanics. I mean, if they seem cool, why not, right? Da -da 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 -da. The menu lag's so strange. It's like a, some programming jink. How do you maintain motivation and avoid burnout when streaming? Ooh, that's a good question. I think, uh... Kinda have to take a step back, right? Because if that's what you're experiencing... Gotta, like, ask yourself, why are you streaming, right? Are you streaming for yourself? Or are you, like, doing it for... Like, other people? Is it a hobby? Is it an obligation? I don't think you should force yourself to, right? But at the same time as like someone who streams on a schedule, occasionally, like I try to keep a schedule. I I, I, I understand like there's times where you'll like plan a stream originally and then when the time comes to actually do it, you're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in the mood anymore, right? And that's fine too. I think you should be flexible about those things because it really is not that serious. Like, you should just stream when you feel like it. Da, 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 da. Right now I'm a hobby, or right now it's a hobby, but I'm getting bent out of shape because I keep seeing this guy on TikTok who acts like a piece of shit to his chat, and people uh, he plays against and he somehow has 17k followers. Yeah, I mean, there's gonna be that too. And that's... That's always like a really weird situation. You're just like, man, this guy has like, his streams are kind of popping off, right? Even though he's kind of an asshole, right? <laughs> and I'd say for those situations, it's best to just like, not compare yourself to other people. It's a, it's a really easy mistake to make to be like, yeah, like this person's successful. Why am I not successful, right? What am I doing wrong? Oh, that's the AoE attack. Yeah, let me try this AoE. I want to see what it looks like. Yeah, man, you gotta... You gotta be content with vibing in your own lane, I think. It's like the secret to happiness. Like with me, I've always played fighting games or, you know, been someone who people has like seen as part of like a larger community. Like people see me play Dragon Ball Fighters, for example. And they might be tempted to think like, oh man, he's like part of the Dragon Ball Fighters community or whatever, right? But I'm really not. <laughs> and all I do is I, I kind of just stick to my own lane and play things that I think are cool. And I pay very little attention to what's happening with other people around me, right? Because I genuinely don't care what's happening around me because as long as I'm having a good time, I'm chill, right? Like 
not caring so much is like the most freeing thing you could possibly do. It feels good to not care. Just do things that you enjoy and that things that make you feel happy. And if streaming doesn't make you feel happy, just take a break. Maybe it'll come back another time, right? But you shouldn't force yourself to do it if you don't want to do it. Smash Brothers is so strange. I once had to knock a guy out because he tried to break my Wii U losing to me and Grand- Wait, he did what? <laughs> that sounds fucking wild. That's That sounds like the most Smash player story ever. Dude, Gohan keeps getting AoE attacks. It's wild. Should I use one of these? They've been in my inventory for so long. I don't even know what I'm saving them up for. I stream to like two people who always watch me, but I don't have a lane. What do you mean by you don't have a lane? Could you could you explain that part more? Lane meaning I don't have a game to stick to. Like a niche, right? I think it is nice to have a niche if you're planning on, like, finding a consistent way to grow your channel. Because people will come and watch you for that thing specifically. It certainly worked for me, right? Like, most of the followers I have on my channel coincidentally just came from me playing Dragon Ball and I didn't have to do anything right like I've made very little content during that time <laughs> I kind of just streamed and played games for fun and people just happened to follow it I was like oh that's cool right but now that time has passed and I've like not played Dragon Ball as much like those followers have kind of chilled out and like they don't really engage with my other content as much right so there's also that, but it's also like, I'm happier now being able to just play whatever the fuck I want. Like, I never cared about follows or whatever, or growing my channel. Like, streaming is just a hobby for me because I'm way too busy to care. <laughs> I got other shit going on. This is like kind of my escape, right? I'm not going to turn it into like an obligation or think of it as a job. As soon as you do that, it just kind of takes away all the joy. -da -da. Let's see. We can do this AoE for curling, I guess. This Gohan doesn't have an AoE, right? He doesn't. He does not. So far, most of the viewing I got was just me blindly playing uh, Danganronpa and Dead by Daylight. Nice! Also, I'm not a VTuber, which probably also hurts me. I don't know! I think a lot of people don't like VTubers. <laughs> it might be a good thing you're not a VTuber. It might be a good thing. Honestly. Darksider, thanks so much for gifting life for Severin and sub. I appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't really- s I- <laughs> you know what's funny? I feel like my channel was more welcoming to a lot of people when I didn't stream with an avatar. When I was just like this. Oh, hang on. Where's my, um... Where's my fucking toggle? <laughs> I don't have a toggle right now. Yeah, when, I used to just stream with my voice. And I feel like back then, like, people didn't pull up to my streams of some kind of, like, preconceived notion of what it was supposed to be. Because as soon as you start streaming with, like, an avatar, people assume things about you. They they think you're, like, part of the culture and shit, and that you have to, like, follow certain rules or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I don't... I don't know about any of that. 
Like, I kind of just think the avatar was like a fun thing to do. Taz is barely a VTuber. Yeah, I don't really consider myself a VTuber either, but I don't know, it's all labels and I don't really care about labels. Yeah, but you can co you can collab with anyone. The word collab is so fucking dumb. <laughs> you ever think about how dumb the world the word collab is? When all you're really doing is just like hanging out. It's literally all it is. But they turn it into this big thing. And it's like, yeah, we got a collab, man, yeah. Like, I don't really think of it as collabing, right? I'm just kind of playing games with friends. Edgy, welcome! I just visited here because I thought this channel was very welcoming. Me? <laughs> welcoming me? Me? Gorsh. I can't believe it. I thought it was toxic. How you doing, by the way, Edgy? <laughs> Edgy Genki. I'm glad you came to this channel. See, people already assume things about me because of the running gag in my channel being I simp over Huntress from Dead by Daylight. Wait, who's Huntress? <laughs> Huntress from Dead by Daylight? Is she a hottie? I guess I just see the real thing about the avatar because I met him. Yeah, yeah. Saw I saw a he he at Evo. We had a we had a big group of people there. It's cool seeing them all in person. Like, huh? It's like we're on a Discord call, but but not. <laughs> da -na -na -na. I played Monster, uh, Monster Rancher 2 on PS1. I have played Monster Rancher games. I don't know if I played the second one in particular. I forget which number it was. But the cool thing about playing on PS1 with Monster Rancher back in the day is you could... Um, the game encouraged you to put in CDs to get new monsters, right? Like, that's the entire gimmick. And so if you had old CDs in your house, like little like music albums and like backstreet boys and whatever <laughs> you just pop that in and then you see what the console gives you and it's pretty cool it's such a sick like idea for a game too bad monster rancher died along with the death of cds it's a shame it really is it really is quite a, i don't think they saw that part coming they're like, oh man, we have this whole franchise. <laughs> and now what are we gonna do? Fucking DVDs ruined everything. Apparently the way they do Monster Rancher games now is they just let you like pick your uh They just let you pick your monster based on like an uh, an existing database. Which is a lot more boring, but I guess that's the only way they would be able to do it, right? Like, I remember showing up to my friend Mania's stream for one of the first times, and she was playing Monster Rancher on Steam. And she was asking me, like, what my favorite music album was. And then when I told her the answer, she just searched for the music album in the game. And, uh, and like, pulled up uh, Cassiopeia Mint Jams. <laughs> yeah, Cassiopeia Mint Jams, and it gave us, like, some random monster that I forgot. Oh, nice tech curling. I was watching an episode of Dragon Ball where like Piccolo and Curlin are fighting at the world tournament. And they like Curlin did not get seated, so I think he had to fight Piccolo for like the first round, right? And uh, Piccolo like knocks him down during like an airborne fight, he like smashes him down in, from the air, and Curlin almost touches th the ground until he like uses his flight to like just barely dodge collision. And I remember <laughs> thinking like, "Oh wait, this is like when we're starting to leave the Dragon Ball part of the show and enter the Z part of the show, huh?" It's like goodbye Z. 
Or, sorry, goodbye, Dragon Ball. Hello, Z. I'm gonna save the other cards. Da -na -na -na. Axe Girl sounds pretty cool, though, like... Every time I go to Minya's, I say, hi, bye, and she tells Chad about you. <laughs> hi, bye. Hi, bye. God, Minya's a riot. I really miss Minya. We don't get to hang out as much these days. Probably the best time to grind for real. Yeah? Is it gonna- are we gonna be- wait, which way was I flying, by the way? Was I going up or down? <laughs> I'm gonna try to go up. Oh, I lost track of my, like, trip. I guess I could have just checked Curlin's MP. I think I was going down. Shit. One, two, three. I love how the eyes in this game are just two dots. Ginyu Force is brutal if you're unprepared? Wait, for real? I'm scared. In a way. They, they do their best to make it feel like the show. Hey, yo! Get fucked! Cool. 70 damage? Wow. With the follow up, too? Curlin, you're a god. God, I love this way. I love the way the game looks so much, man. It's such a charming game. Like, it's such a nice touch that they've added different attack animations and different, like, RNG events in battle. There's some amount of suspense when you're attacking someone. You don't know if you'll dodge. You don't know if they'll dodge. You don't know if you'll get a crit or not. What kind of crit is even, like... You don't even know what, the, what kind of crit you're gonna end up getting, because it seems to be different types of crits. And follow-up attacks, too. Remember when JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3 had an RPG? Wasn't that the one on, uh... Wasn't there one on Nintendo? I never got to play that one. But I remember seeing, like, a cover. Let's do this. Uh, maybe I should keep the other... No, I should use it. Hey, what's up, Marco? Welcome. How's the game going? We're chilling today. We're, uh... Trying to find some Dragon Balls. Q-Ball! Q-Ball, welcome! How is stream? Hello, hello. Hope you guys had a good time over there. My name's Tatsu. I like fighting games, retro games, and Dragon Ball a bunch. Welcome in. Also, uh, Sai Aichan and the Critic of Innocence, thank you so much for the follows. Welcome to the cult. I, I mean, I mean, welcome to the club. Hi. Yeah, I'm playing a Dragon Ball RPG from the Super Nintendo. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but it's pretty, pretty pog. It's kind of sick. What's neat is, um, it goes through the Saiyan Saga and the Frieza Saga, but if your human characters survive the Saiyan Saga, they get to follow you to Namek. So that's why I have, like, Yamcha, Tien, and, uh, and Chaozu on Namek for some reason. There's a Super Nintendo JoJo's game, so it's, is it Super Famicom and not Famicom? Straight up Kusoge? That's what I like to hear. I need that. I need that in my life. But yeah, what were you guys doing over at Cubot stream? Hmm, let's see this. Maybe I'll set Tien to attack since he has the highest BP. Da -da -da -da. 
I should use this. Oh, I don't think I'm hanging on to it for too long. Budokai Tankaichi, uh, AI versus AI? Yo, that sounds hype! Dude, that's the best. Were you guys doing, like, channel points betting? Was that what it was? I had a friend who would host, like, tournaments. So he'd set up a challenge bracket, put a bunch of characters, and then have people, like, basically, like, pick a favorite and stuff. It felt like watching the show. Like, it's so suspenseful. Sometimes you'd get, like, really random character matchups that you're not really sure who's gonna win. Yajirobe can send you, it's fucked up. Oh god, I gotta check out the VOD. That sounds like such a fun stream idea. I want to do that when, um, when Sparking Zero comes out. You know when the new Dragon Ball game Sparking Zero comes out? I want to do CPU battles. It's like, I'm a fighting game enjoyer, right? Like, I really love fighting games. I am, like, not... I'm not that interested in, like, the balance of sparking zero i just kind of want to treat it as like a dragon ball simulator i would like to play that game single player more than it's multiplayer rla was apparently top tier in the like was it tenkaichi 3 she was really strong in that one it's one of the stronger characters in the top half of the tier list for sure But other than that, it seems like most of the characters in that game were balanced based on their canonical power level. Like, it's actually pretty accurate. If, you, if you've set Chaozu to fight Omega Shenron, it's probably going to end up the way you think it will, <laughs> you know? Let's see. I didn't get any cool cards this time. I just use this one. I love Arla and how they keep putting her in um, Dragon Ball games as like a guest character. And I guess she did appear at that one episode. She's written like Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z at this point. It's like part of the universe. Jajirobe is probably the character that hits above his pay grade the hardest. The idea of Yajirobe doing sick nasty shit is actually kind of hype. Like when he originally appeared in the show, he was actually kind of a big deal. Because Curlin had just died. Like Curlin had gotten murked by Tambourine or whatever his name was. And then they introduced Yajirobe, who had the same voice actor as Curlin. I was like, wait a minute, what are they trying to do here? Is this bald guy erasure? Are they trying to, uh... Are they trying to just erase Curlin and replace him with another character who's voiced by the same actor? Curlin and Yajirobe are both voiced by the, uh... person who voices Luffy, actually. Which I always, I always forget about that, but it's, it's pretty fun remembering that. He has multiple rush moves. You know who's fun to play in Tenkaichi? I always liked playing a uh, birder. Because he would like, you would press jab like once and he would hit like five times. <laughs> like he, his attacks were so fucking over the top when it came to like them trying to exaggerate how fast he was. Fastest in the universe, lie. He appears in the latest, uh, what do you call it? The latest Sparking Zero trailer? He's like, I'm the fastest in the universe! He's just like, no, you're not. Dispo's right over there, bro. <laughs> Dispo's standing right over there. He's in the roster too, you know? Who are you, dude? Get out of here. You're washed. You're done. Hang up the gloves, dude. Wait, which way was I going? Which way was I going? I think I need to go down. <laughs> this is his fastest in the other universe. True. Maybe Birder still is the fastest in universe 
in Goku universe. That may very well be true. I don't know. It's hard to tell who's fast anymore. Because you'll just have random boss fights like Cooler. And like Cooler's super fast for some reason. Even though you wouldn't really expect him to be. Like he, he comes off as more of a tank, right? But no, he's actually like super fast. Bird and Dispa better have unique lines for each other. Oh man, I hope unique lines are like a huge thing for that game. Because that's like why you play the Tenkaichi games, right? You play them for the dream battle aspect. Like here's two characters I always wanted to, to have meet up somehow and I wonder how they will react to each other, right? I want them to have convos I can't find anywhere else. Goku's a cheater, that's why. Goku got so lucky with instant transmission. Like, of all the skills you could pull from the story, it's such a broken one. Any character with instant transmission, if you gave it to, like, a villain, it would be over. It'd be done. Imagine a villain who could just fucking traverse time and space and just do whatever they want. I don't know, maybe there is a villain like that in the new manga. I haven't really kept up with the manga. I should get back into it. I want to consume all the Toriyama content as much as possible. Oh, did you guys see uh, Sandland showed like its first opening? I actually really like the Sandland opening. I, I want to watch Sandland. Hey, what's up, turtles? Welcome in. Yeah, this game is dope, right? Did you play it back in the day, too? This was like childhood Tatsu emulation discoveries. I had such a good time playing this growing up. I didn't understand what was happening, though, because I was playing the Japanese version. Sadman versus Cell Jr. would be a hype match. Wouldn't the, wasn't the Cybermen interesting in that game? Because there would be like five of them or something. Like after you, after you killed one, like another one would just pop up. I forget if that was in Tenkaichi specifically, but I know one of the games had that. Save. Let's go back to. We finished our training, so Curlin now has a lot more key to work with. Got 134 key, so him, Gohan, and Tien have all received training. I've decided to buff them up specifically. So this is Dragon Ball nearby. Oh, there it is. What the hell? I'm just sitting here. We're gonna get jumped. It's magnificent. We were lucky to be the first. Let's continue! Got an item DB4. Oh, I love 4. Isn't that the one that was on Gohan's head? <laughs> wow, my inventory is full. Shit, I need to throw something away. Mega Manuel, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What should we get rid of? I didn't think this far. At this point, how much is 25 HP really? Maybe we can get rid of Bulma. Right? Yeah, I think that's the play. Oh wait, what's going on? I have to use it. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I have to drop it then. Bulma's not worth now. At this point, you really only want comic cards for healing or Dende. Corn's good too. By the way, I like how your model looks. Hey, thank you! I actually made my model myself. So if it looks a little ugly around the edges, it's because I don't draw enough. <laughs> I'd like to make another model though. 
Uh, I wanted to make that one of my, like, goals for the year. This is probably just, like, take a break from streaming for a while and focus on making a new model. Yeah, it's actually really fun making your own model. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And I know that, like, VTuber models are quite expensive if you plan on doing... on, like, commissioning a professional one, right? But if you guys are on the fence about it, just consider giving it a try. It'll save more money than you think, and it's also a lot easier than you think. Because Live TD is very much intended to be, like, like anyone can pick it up. With enough time, you can learn how to navigate it really easily. So, I know a lot of people like Supersonic Warrior. Because that was like a really good handheld game, right? I didn't get to play too much of it. It would be fun to maybe do a stream for that one. Also, yeah, I did hear a lot of people... <laughs> a lot of people don't seem to think uh, the first Legacy of Goku game is too good. Honestly, I really like the style. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have no idea why, but the way the line art looks reminds me specifically of Rhythm Heaven, uh, Riven Heaven Fever. It's like the thick outlines, right? That's kind of how I've always drawn, is like, having really thick outlines. So it does lend towards, like, it lends itself towards a certain style. I don't know, my art's really amateur. I don't draw enough to, like, be good at art. I'll draw like one or two things a year, but I used to draw so much like growing up. It's just hard to find the time. I'm too busy losing and fighting game ranked <laughs> to draw. You gotta pick your poison, right? How do you want to waste your time on this earth? I'm specking all of my points into fighting games, which is actually a really dumb thing to spec. Because all it takes is, like, one balance patch to ruin everything about the game you're playing. Da -da 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 -da. I actually wanted to make my next, like, live CD avatar more fighting gamey. I think it would be cool to try to fit more of that into the design. Because right now it's just, like, a... Oh, hang on. Hello. Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> yeah, right now it just looks like this. Which is okay. I like this too, but yeah. More fighting gaminess would be cool. Also, Drill Spazer, welcome! Hello, hello! Remember playing this game, but it was not translated, so I was guessing. Me too! That was me too! I didn't understand anything, which is terrible, because, like. There's actually a lot. Like, playing it now? Now that I'm, like grown up and stuff, and now that I have an understanding of what the hell's happening, it's actually a really clever game in how its mechanics are designed. Like, there's a there's a good amount of strategy in it. Not always, but sometimes. <laughs> I think the issue is, uh, your characters tend to become too strong. Because it's an RPG, right? And you're, like, it's a Dragon Ball RPG in, in particular, and so a lot of the grinding and power level stuff goes hard. Like, you could feel the power scaling in this game. The BP levels in this game are actually, like, accurate to the show. You know, when they tell you a character is, like, at a thousand battle power, or, like, a million battle power in the show, it's actually the number that is also used in the game, which is insane to me. But they somehow balance that, still. I could make my my next avatar less gremlin, I guess. <laughs> right now it's kind of gremlin, right? It's not really like a realistic proportion. What I missed last time on Dragon Ball Z. How'd the Saiyan Saga end? We ended up uh, killing Nappa and defeating Vegeta, and while keeping all of the humans alive. So Tien, Chaozu, and Yamcha 
have survived the Saiyan saga. And they're with me right now. They're actually in my party. <laughs> yeah, say hello. Look at him. It's funny because Chaozu still has the suicide skill. I can kill him at any time. <laughs> He's, 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 he's always a little, little accessible. I got a little green. <laughs> My boy Tian made it to Namek, I'm so happy. Yeah, dude, Tian's so cool. I was talking earlier to my stream about how Tian's actually like a really cool character. About how like, even though he's not the strongest, he still does everything that he, that's in his power. And he actually shows up for some pretty clutch moments during the series against, like, major boss fights, right? Yeah, Tan Fox. Yeah, it seems like there's a Dragon Ball up there. Somewhere to the northwest. Oh, is it through the cave? I might have to go through that cave, I'm not sure though. I think so. Yep. Okay, let's go grab that then. Oh, hang on. Is this a shop? Is this a shop? What are they selling? The thing is, I don't have much space in my inventory anymore. So I don't know if there's anything we should buy. I would just save my money. I think it's absolutely, like... Psychopathic that older RPGs used to have a look feature or like a search feature like Dragon Quest and stuff <laughs> We're just be like hey look it's a search thing and you can use it anywhere Any pixel in the game any like square block you can use this <laughs> Try searching everywhere player and see what you can find I'm like no I don't want to <laughs> They're like no try it you'll love it Explore every single pixel. Is this palette swap to Doria? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Let's use this one. How strong is he? Yo, get his ass, Tian! Damn, I didn't get the sick ass, like. Ground slam. Yeah, he's he's like he's just palace off Dodoria. Cause we killed Dodoria early in our playthrough. We still have to fight Zarbon though. That's what we like to call big damage. They showed a uh, Piccolo, or sorry, they showed Vegeta fighting Zarbon earlier, but it was CPU controlled, so we didn't have to do anything. Dude, it's gonna be hype when Vegeta joins our party. I totally forgot about him. I keep forgetting he's like a playable character in this game, eventually. This better be enough. I don't want to use any more attack cards than I have to. This game catches you off guard though, because you'll be fighting these common enemies. And they're like really weak, right? They don't really pose a challenge. You're ganging up on them like 6v1. And then they'll just throw like a boss fight like the Ginyu Force at you. Or like Nappa or Raditz. And those guys are like actually really threatening the first time you find them. Yeah! Get him, Gohan. Good stuff. Let's go in this dungeon. Seems like a really big dungeon. The problem with dungeons in this game is you can't fly, and so you're stuck fighting every single battle on random encounter. I guess you could run, but I don't want to do that. I try not to run in RPG so I don't want to like be under leveled. I think the, the sign of a successful RPG 
in terms of balance is one where you can avoid grinding as long as you just fight every battle that's presented to you. Say if you're playing like Chrono Trigger and you just see like a group of enemies, you should just pull up to them every single time. And you'll probably be fine. You won't be under leveled. I mean, grinding is fun too, right? Like, grinding has its place, in my opinion. And I do enjoy it, but I have to be in the mood for it. Hard agree. Does this mean Legend of Dragoon isn't in a good RPG? Does Legend of Dragoon have a lot of grinding? I actually never got to play that one. Like, gr grinding is kind of its own fun thing sometimes because it's like it's enjoyable seeing your character become stronger right it's like you're going through your own shonen training arc but there is going to be a point where it's like hey i've already like proven that i can do this i don't know why you want me to do it like 50 times legend of dragoon is qte the game Legend of the Dragoon is a good game. It has a grind problem in the Pokemon issue, and basic attacks are QTAs. What are, uh, what's the Pokemon issue? QTA sounds cool. <laughs> is it just timed attacks? I like timed attacks. Looks like some kind of switch. What does it do? Maybe a security system to open a door, or perhaps an alarm. Should I- do I press it? Did I press it? They didn't- they say there's a switch, but I haven't actually been able to interact with it. I'm just gonna go. Zero Elac, thanks so much for the follow, welcome! Hi! Oh, look at all these gray Cybermen. They lost their color. They're uh, old 40s cartoon Cybermen. Wait, I should use the AoE in curling. This is gonna hurt. Da -na -na -na. Guess what? That movie you wanted to watch made today? 666 is. <laughs> Wait, really? They made $666,666 at the box office? Yeah, I really wanted to watch that movie. Friggin' Late Night with the Devil? Has anyone seen that movie? I don't know if you guys watch horror movies or whatever. But there's a new horror movie, I guess, where it's like, uh... It's like... They're running a TV show, but the TV show is like... Cursing people who are watching from home or something? I don't really know. It's something like that. It's like they're unleashing the devil into people's homes. Oh, did you see it? Was it any good? Did you recommend it? Did you like it? Also, Jordan the Kitty, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Who is this Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball's so good. I came across a realization earlier, chat. I want to know what my realization was. I realized that Everything in my life that has dragon in its title is usually a pretty good thing. Like all these different medias, like games and shows and movies. It's like Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest, Dragon's Crown. Freaking, um. Train How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Dragon's Dogma, yeah. Yeah, like a dragon. There's so many good dragon media. It's like if you put dragon in, in your game, it's probably going to be a good game. Yeah, Dragon's Crown is one of the buff-ass dwarves. <laughs> the Vanillaware Women's. This is a Super Famicom, actually. This is on Super Nintendo. Yeah, I don't think Nintendo, Nintendo does have a game like this, but it's like the color palette is a lot more limited. Yeah, this one they actually have like shading and stuff. Looks very cool. 
Yeah, look up the Dragon Ball uh, NES games for this series. It's really, like, neat looking. I think it was done more of, like, a board game. And so you'd have to, like, roll your dice to determine how many squares to move forward in a particular map. Whereas with this one, they made it more of, like, a, you know, like a traditional RPG. I mean, I guess rolling dice is also traditional. Maybe that wasn't the best way to describe it. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to save these cards any more than I have to. Should I just use them? I'm just going to use them. I'm, I'm going to have everyone pull up. Yeah, chat so you can attack too. Be free. Now the whole squad can fight. I haven't played 7th Dragon yet, Squinky. I've, uh, I'm aware of it, though. It's kind of like one of those Etrian Odyssey tap games, right? Where you create a party at the beginning of the game, and then from there on you just kind of dungeon crawl. Dragging these nuts on your chin. Hi, Low Clock. How are you? Yeah, this track is gonna get stuck in your head, sorry. I don't make the rules. It's just how it's gonna happen. You must now suffer the same curse that I have been suffering for the last month. It's like not even a long loop. It's actually like a really repetitive song, but it's catchy. So I finally got into Etrian Odyssey late, and I really liked it. Before Etrian Odyssey, the only game that I got to play that was kind of similar was uh, Dark Spire for the... I think it was the Nintendo DS? I think it was the... Yeah, I think it was the Nintendo DS. Dark Spire is really cool. It's like an Atlas dungeon crawling RPG with a sick-ass comic book aesthetic. This should be enough, right? I don't have to use any more than that, right? This guy looks like such a fist of the North Star villain, dude. <laughs> he looks like his head's about to explode. Dude, you get to knock them into the walls? There's like uh, attack animations on other terrain too, where you get to like smash someone into the water or into the ground or, or into some rocks. It's actually super cool. I like when you smash him into the ground and then it actually like changes the camera to like first person for a little and it shows them like flying towards the ground. I was playing a EO1, like the first one. I think, you know what I think really carries Etrian Odyssey games? Like they're fun and all and they have nice graphics and they're addicting, don't get me wrong, but I think it's the OST dude. I think it's that Yuzo, Yuzo Koshiro OST is what really carries it for me. It's so good! <laughs> Etrian Odyssey soundtrack's so good! It's actually like 10 out of 10. Tried playing the first EO, is that... Uh, that will map stuff for you, and it was so hard I couldn't stand it. Oh yeah, the because the, the whole gimmick of that game is it's supposed to be like a 3DS game, right? Or like a DS game where you have to draw your own map. It's kind of fun, but it's not for everyone. I find it nice because I get to like really understand the layout of all the dungeons I'm going through. Like you get really in touch with the zones that you're traversing to the point where, like, eventually you won't even need a map, right? Because you've been through them so much. You know every every single secret. You know all the different turns. Love dungeon crawlers, but I hate drawing maps. Never play PSO 1, then. <laughs> you must never play Fantasy, Fantasy Star 1. That is, like, such a weird game to go back to for me. 
Because in that game, like, there was no map, so you had to draw it using pen and paper. Like, you, you actually had to just bust out grid paper for that game to, to figure out what the layouts were. Because the game did nothing to tell you what the maps were. It's insane. It's the most unhinged shit ever. I don't know. <laughs> Fantasy Star is kind of goofy. Fantasy Star is actually like the first Fantasy Star. It's actually like a really silly game and the stuff that happens in it. Like it's kind of ridiculous. It feels like a shit post. Like you'll be pulling up to like the bottom floor of a dungeon, like four, four floors into a dungeon. And then some guy there will just be selling shortcakes. And I'm just like, dude, what are you doing here? He's like, hey, yo, got some shortcakes. You want some shortcakes? I got some shortcakes for sale. I'm like, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I guess. But what are you doing down here? Yeah, and also like some of the progression is really obscure. Like the the way to progress in some of the quests in that game is stuff that you would never figure out in your own. Yeah, and the translation was bad too. There was like a gazer type enemy that was called an owl bear. <laughs> Remember the owl bears in PSO one? Cause I do. Best shortcakes this whole dungeon. I guess he's got no competition down there. That's why he's selling shortcakes. It's like I'm the only fucker crazy enough to start a business down here. Do a little kickstart. I got dots in my head too, bro. We're matching. How is Krillin a monk? It's kind of funny. <laughs> he's always just been Krillin to me, but I, I forget he's a monk. Krillin's scores of 18 what a beast. Dude, he gets the best girl in the whole series. It's insane. I love Dragon Ball women. Dragon Ball women are... are extremely well written. Everyone but Chi Chi. <laughs> Chi Chi is the only character you could really be like, oh wow, they really fucked up with that one. Everyone else is fucking incredible. Dun, dun, dun. But also with Chi Chi, like, you can, I understand why they wrote her to be a mom eventually, right? Because someone had to be the mom. Someone had to take the role. She took the bullet for the team, dude. Also, this dungeon's kind of huge. Wait, can I use my my radar down here? Ooh, I can. That's genius. At least I think I can. It's a little up. Do I even have to explore this whole dungeon? I do not want to. I just want to get the ball and get out. Unless there's something worthwhile down here. I think Curlin deserves it too, because he's such a nice guy. He's genuinely a good friend and a nice guy. Like, normally when someone scores a, a babe in some media, like, you're kind of upset, right? Like, remember how we found out Waka marries Lulu in Final Fantasy X? Remember how mad you are you were at that time? I don't really feel that way about Curlin. With Curlin, I'm just like, good shit, man. Fuck yeah. You did it. You want him to be happy. He's a, he's a short king in every sense of the word. I 
I think the tier list for me is like 18 is probably best girl in Dragon Ball, followed by like. Bulma? Probably? Yeah, Bulma's like. A tier for me, and then 18's S tier. Oh, Bulma deserves to be an S tier. Okay. 18 S plus tier. <laughs> Bulma S tier. There's a difference. <laughs> There's a subtle difference in what I just did there. I, I moved them up once, but you have to respect anyone in S tier. S tier is very respectable. And then Videl and Chi Chi kind of suffer the same problem where they were like written awesome at first, and then kind of like become housewives later. You get to see a lot less of them doing cool stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, lunch is good too. Hmm. Lunch is definitely better than Chi Chi and Videl for me. I love lunch. Pre superhero booty buff or after for Bulma? I think Bulma's always been the same for me because she doesn't really like change. <laughs> like she's kind of a constant in Dragon Ball. Bulma's just Bulma. Oh, I gotta get rid of something. What's the corn card do again? I don't know what the corn card does, but I gotta get rid of something. Let's get rid of Bulma. Just when we were talking about how much we like Bulma, we gotta get rid of her card. Krillin has absorbed you. What is this fucking cave, bro? This place sucks. Da -da 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 -da. One attack. Get out of here. What am I gonna do with one attack? I'm just gonna use these because even though the attack is high and it's tempting to save it, it's like the defense is really low on them. So I might as well use them now. Because we can get a better card for sure. Go Yamcha, go! Damn, I love Yamcha's sprite. He looks so sick with the long hair. Apple used Shadow Plume Jitsu. Before I stay up too late, I do need to go to bed. Night, y'all. Have fun with the rest of the game. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by again, Mega Manual. And thanks so much for the follow as well. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Get some West. Chi Live YouTuber Tots is the best Dragon Ball girl. Hi, Koba. How are you? Yeah, I was a Chi Live VTuber for a while. Chi Live PNG VTuber. No, more specifically. MS Paint Chi Life VTuber. <laughs> it was MS Paint. I forgot. I was using Control Z and Control Y to animate my mouth. It was incredible. You can do it too. You don't need a model. Just open up MS Paint. Follow your dreams. Become a ventriloquist. This guy's head just looks like a big pickle. I'm trying to take a bite out of him. See, see all the juices that leak out. Let me inside your pickle juice. There's a rock remix of this song on YouTube. There's like a YouTube cover that rearranged it. It's pretty cool. Would have liked to see this game get more love. Nice counter attack, let's go. Can you kill him though? I think this should be enough because he has like no defense right now. Yep. One more enemy. Let's see, what cards do we save here? I would just use this one. Maybe that one. This one's here. Da -da -da -da. Oh, chat's a guy level up. I 
I remember one thing that the um, Attack of the Sands RPG on the 3DS did really well was it made level ups really rewarding. Like whenever you got a new skill, it felt awesome because it was actually like a new tool, right? I don't really feel that with this game. Like I feel like in this game you have a lot of skills, but they all kind of do the same thing for the most part. Also, in Attack of the Sands, there was team techs. There were Chrono Trigger team techs. And so there were attacks you could only do in combination with some other party member. It was really badass. Like, you were definitely encouraged to try out different team comps. I wonder if Chatsu will ever be viable in this game. <laughs> he seems kind of weak. I shouldn't have bothered saving him. He's dead weight. Wait till Guru unlocks his potential, bro. Yeah, maybe he can kill himself more effectively. Hey, what the fuck is this shit? What the hell? They split up into two. Yeah, maybe he'll get a better goodbye attack. <laughs> One that actually does damage to Nappa for once. My favorite part of Chatsu is he has like a single hair underneath his hat. Just one hair. He's got the Homer Simpson hair. He like teases Krillin about it. <laughs> I have hair and you don't. I gotta pluck it. I gotta just yank it. Curlin's AoE. I think it was a good idea to upgrade him. He's like a designated AoE-er. Chats have had to be in Sparking Zero. I would be surprised if they didn't include him. If they're gonna include a character like Satan, I, mean, I think Chatsu's odds are pretty good. The thing is, there's still so many characters that they haven't shown, right? There's an incredible number of uh, slots available. I should have attacked more wisely there. I like stacked all of my attacks on the same enemy that's almost dead. I'm sure it's not going to matter because we're kind of breezing through these fights anyway, but yeah. You know how they're gonna hard focus on Super for the roster? Yeah, they added fucking, uh, they added that one girl from Big Ribs team, Kakunza. I was surprised about that pick. I was like, whoa, I don't even remember this character. I thought she was an OC. <laughs> I thought she was an OC at first. Like, who are you? Wait, I don't know how to get to the Dragon Ball from here. Is it the Switches, maybe? There's a version of the song that plays in Jackie Chun vs. Goku and Raging Glass. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason, she gets some love from the developers. I really... Like, what do you guys think about the Tournament of Power, anyway? I thought the concept was cool, but the execution could have been more... exciting. It feels like how it really ended up playing out is like, even though you had this really big tournament, like, only some of the matchups mattered. Only a handful of matchups actually mattered. The rest of it just felt like a lot of the enemies weren't that cool looking. They weren't that interesting. Like, I can count the number of good fights on one hand. It was not a very high number. I 
I like every time Goku turns Ultra Instinct. I liked every Jiren fight. I liked all the fights with, uh... What was it? Gohan and Piccolo doing, like, the 2v2 against the Namekians was really cool. Uh, Vegeta versus Jiren was good. I guess, I guess that counts as a Jiren fight, though. I don't know. Felt like it could have been better. Let's use this one now. Yeah, Cal and Kefla was good. But also, I feel like her moveset's kind of boring. I felt like they could have given her some kind of unique attack that wasn't just like me throwing key blasts at people. TOP would have felt more like an event if we saw the other universes not just go against U7. Yeah, they all ganged up on U7. <laughs> I swear. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's the battle royal aspect that made it kind of messy too. Something's there. I got Yajirob. <laughs> What's Yajirob doing in here? What does Yajirobi's card even do? Oh, we're not going to use this anymore. What is Yajirob? He was hiding. What are you doing here? I want to see what he does. Oh wow, I feel the lag. <laughs> he can't mash down to some call. Oh, he helps you out. That's crazy. What is he doing? Does it really doesn't make any sense why he's on Namek? It makes no sense why he's on Namek right now. If you told, if you found him on uh, on Earth when we were back in like Saiyan Saga, that would still make sense. But what the hell? I'm gonna do this. Get rid of these dudes. I liked how the the universes in um, the Tournament of Power all had their own themes, though. Like, it's like, here's the furry universe. Here's the Sentai universe. Here's the Sh Maho Shoujo universe. It's neat. Like, you know how Jiren's universe is like the Sentai universe? And he's from Universe 11? Apparently, Universe 11 and 2 are linked in that, like, they're like the pairing. Because it goes like, you know, 6 and 7, 8 and 5, 9 and 4, and so on. And so it, it was interesting because in Universe 2, that was a... That was Rip Rianne's universe, and she's like the, the magical girl universe. So it felt like it was like the counterpart to the... the Sentai universe. Like they're both characters and heroes that like transform, right? But they're different types of tropes. I should save that by the way. I haven't been saving very often. I think we're supposed to go right, because I want to say that's going to lead us to, uh, to the Dragon Ball. There were some universes that didn't even fight in the Tournament of Power. Like, there's the ones that were completely safe. I wanted to see more from them. Like, I wonder if we'll ever get to explore them at this point. It's a lot of, like, world building that's happened in Dragon Ball in the past decade. Like, Toriyama was able to go back and expand on some of the stuff that that we always wondered about. Yeah, the color swapped Adoria and the color swapped Kiwi. The Baja Blast Adoria. 
<laughs> I wanted to hype up Universe 12 as the strongest. Yeah, I want to see 12. Because the tournaments, or the universes that didn't attend were because they were too strong already, right? Only the weak universes had to attend because they were at risk of being cold. They were deemed as useless. Yeah, the world building in Dragon Ball is actually kind of fun. <laughs> like, legit. It's particularly good because I feel like there's always been like aliens and stuff in that show. If not outright like explicitly said that they were aliens, then at least like you could kind of infer <laughs> that some of the citizens on Earth were like strange, right? strange. Like, the alien thing was just something they added later on. Oh, fuck me. Got trapped. Explosion! Is that gonna kill the kids? <laughs> Are the kids alive? One of the kids got fucked up. I think it was Dende. How come this kid doesn't get hit? He's, like, invincible. I feel racist because I can't tell the Namekians apart. <laughs> the, the, the kid and the kid that looks like Dende are like the same kid to me. How do I tell them apart, dude? Dende 1, Dende 2. Let's memorize their position in the party. Emmy's always the last one. I think I had to do with the God of Destruction prop not properly doing their jobs, and the ones that didn't participate were doing their job correctly. I thought there was like kind of a sinister aspect of the entire Tournament of Power arc, because like you realize uh, all the gods could just like destroy shit on a whim. And they were they were willing to flex it too, right? They were like kinda like they were giving the rest of the characters like a, a know your place type of attitude. Like we could we could snap our fingers and you can just fucking erase at any moment, right? Oh, it's the it's the Mountain Dew water. Yeah, I'm glad I upgraded Curlin. I think his AoEs have been really useful. I really didn't know he had an AoE like that, but it's incredible. Magic Fairy? I didn't find a Magic Fairy, no. Not yet. What's the fairy do? He has to talk to the water. Let me talk to the water after this. Let me drink some water too. Oh no, he's splitting up! It's giving me the gangbang. Yamcha, you must survive this ordeal. <laughs> There's two Mountain Dews, so it could be the other one. This dungeon's just so big. I really don't know where I'm going. I hope that the exit's gonna be easy to find. Or they'll like teleport me to the exit later. Because I tried using my dragon radar to find the dragon ball inside, but none of the walls seem to be leading towards that direction. Like, I'm actually walking away from the dragon balls right now. Really? This is a backtrack cave? In a way. We're definitely not going to finish this game today. It's probably going to have to wait till next week. If I can get like two or three Dragon Balls, I'll be happy though, because we found two last time. Let's see, how's everyone's HP looking? Uh, I might as well use the AoE again.
I'm confused about the switches because I saw the holes and I interacted with one of them, but I it didn't seem to like it didn't seem to tell me if the switch was actually activated. I'm guessing we have to hit the switch and then it'll open up a pathway to the Dragon Ball inside. Is that what it is? Damn, this attack is too good. I've changed my mind. Curlin is top tier. I put a bunch of stuff in a Tiana at the beginning, but then I don't know. I never really get a chance to use them. Like, how often are you gonna run into, like, boss fights, right? Oh, it's a fairy! Good morning! You just woke me up. It's not important. I've been sleeping a long time. You can regenerate here whenever you want. Wow. That's cool. Got a weird Namekian fairy thing. Nothing at the bottom, huh? I don't know. I don't think I need heals at this point. I'm like a little too strong. I think we'll go bottom from here? Maybe? Because I came from top. I was actually so tempted to play Dragon's Dogma 2 today on stream, but I like, I'm at the point of the game where I kind of want to play some of it offline too, right? I want to, I want to have the freedom to like, play unoptimally in silence and just like walk around and do nothing. I like doing nothing in games like that, <laughs> like not actually actively going for a quest, just walking around and exploring, you know? So I, I want to do that before I do the next Dragon's Dogma stream. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like when you play Elden Ring, and instead of just like doing the story stuff and like doing the the main things that you're supposed to do, you're just kind of backtracking to locations you've been to already and, and seeing if you've missed anything, right? Like, I, I want to be able to do that. I think there's a lot of similarities between Dragon's Dogma 2 gameplay and Elden Ring. They both have an exploration vibe to them. They're both games where you can just see something in the distance and then just start walking towards that direction to see if it becomes anything you can look at later. I took Zoe to the first area and she keeps telling me, wow, I need to tell my master about this? Wait, really? I missed a lot of secret tokens, I bet. I haven't really been, uh, like, checking every single inch of every area, especially not on stream. <laughs> I was up really late yesterday, actually, because I was working on, a, like, a YouTube video. I was- I made a video where, um... I turned my Dragon's Dogma 2 playthrough into an anime opening. <laughs> like an anime style opening. It was a lot of fun to make. And I was just like, oh, I haven't done anything for YouTube for a while. This will be fun. 10 out of 10 video. Yeah! And then I used that one song from the first Dragon's Dogma game. The Into Free. That song's so catchy. It also, like, is the perfect song for an anime opening. Honestly. Like, I like the Dark Arisen song too. But I wonder why they never brought back the first song. I guess it must have been like a licensing time limit. Because they're borrowing from like a band, right? But once the license ran out, they're like, oh yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. Here's licensing point. It's such, a, <laughs> it's such a random theme too. 
I remember booting up Dragon's Dogma for the first time and being like, what is this? <laughs> I didn't expect this. Colors of Light fits way better, but yeah, in the previous so hype. Yeah, dude! <laughs> it's it's so funny. It's kind of like when they had Street Fighter 4. And Vanilla Street Fighter 4 used to have a... Uh, used to have that one famous theme song. You know, the one that goes like... Also, Hunty! Hunty, welcome! Thanks so much for rating Hunty. How was your stream? Hello, Hunt. Were you playing Persona today? I think I saw you playing Persona. Let's do this. I'm doing good. I slept for most of the day. I was a sleepy boy. I don't like sleeping through Sundays though. Because it feels like I wasted my weekend, you know? <laughs> I mean, it, it would be nice to enjoy my, my time off on the weekends, but I feel like I'm usually sleeping a bunch over the weekends to like recover all the damage I've gained throughout my poor sleep schedule during the actual weekdays. But yeah, welcome, Jesse. Say so. Lost soul. I hope you guys had a good time over there. I'm just playing more of this Dragon Ball RPG. Where I'm finding all the Dragon Balls on Namek and I'm like using a Dragon Radar to look around. You be hibernating? You been chilling? I haven't touched SF6 for a while. Lost Soul. I need to jump back into it, but I've been on that Dragon's Dogma 2 train. Need revenge later this week? Yeah, we can probably play next week. I'll make the time. Ever play the DB Game Boy games? I, uh... I played quite a few. The thing is, I don't really know if I've played every single Legacy of Goku game. And those are the ones that people tend to, like, hype up a lot. You know, people love Legacy of Goku. You've had technical issues? Is it just like optimization stuff? It's been bad? Is your computer like not running it well? I had to turn down a bunch of the graphics settings, but I'm really hoping that they can address it with like a patch. I know Capcom said they're aware, but I, I'm kind of skeptical about how much they'll be able to fix on their end, right? <laughs> My game crashed twice the first stream I had, Hunty. And also, every time I boot up the game, the resolution is like all fucked up. Like, it is not very good of a PC port, I feel. Can't stop the EXE through Steam co command prompt or task manager, and then it takes up 3 gigs of memory. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this is one of those games where I think if, if someone had access to a PS5, I would actually suggest to consider getting that version over the PC version right now. You know? Just because you probably wouldn't have to worry about all this. I did play Ultimate Battle 22. The thing is, you know what's weird about that game, Say So? Is that I always thought it looked really cool as someone who didn't get to try it out yet. <laughs> Because it had, like, the anime sprites, right? I was like, oh man, I'm so jealous people got to play Ultimate Battle 22. And then I found out much later that, like, Ultimate 22 is actually, like, really garbage. It's, like, not good at all. But yeah, I hope you can get DDT working soon, Hunty. We gotta trade pawns. You know, it's, like, the best part of playing Dragon's Dogma 2 right now is, like, using other people's pawns. And then having them, like, join my playthroughs, and then having my pawn join their playthroughs, right? It's so cool. They don't have multiplayer in Dragon's Dogma, but I think this is not, like, the worst alternative. It's really interesting. There's, not, there's never a boring day in Dragon's Dogma 2. Like, every time you go out into an adventure, there's some random thing will happen beyond your expectations. Like, it's actually random, right? It's not something that's scripted necessarily. Like, I was out 
the other day walking back from a quest and then uh, a griffin came diving in from the air and started attacking not us but livestock it was attacking livestock on the road <laughs> and i was like what the fuck and then we were just trying to haul ass and like defend ourselves because he was way stronger than anything that my party was equipped to fight at the time like you had to make those kinds of decisions like oh do we run do we fight Also, have a nice lurk on to you. Thanks again for the raid. I always appreciate it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stream early so I can raid Hunty back. Never get to raid Hunty back unless I'm going to bed at a responsible hour. <laughs> Never happens. Once in a... Once in a blue fucking moon. This game's funny. Yeah, this game Fox. It's so cool. Do you think you played this one? This was like one of the first ones I played on emulator. It's a classic. Yeah, it's got some cool card game mechanics that I think are really clever. It feels like I'm maybe like 50% through the game. But you go through Saiyan Saga and Namek Saga. And then my Yamcha, Tien, and Chaozu survived Saiyan Saga, and so they're actually on Namek with us now. They're joining us on Namek. I actually have like way too many party members right now. It's crazy that Dragon Ball straight up has like two baldies in the same party. You never see that! <laughs> What's the last piece of media you've enjoyed where there's like two baldies on the same team? Zero. <laughs> it doesn't happen, dude. The fucking- the audacity, the courage. I mean, technically Chaozu's bald too, so there's like- there's actually a lot of baldies. Yeah, and then it's like, even amongst the Saiyans, like some of them have really similar haircuts. Like Goku and Goten are basically the same haircut. Until Go Goten changes his haircut to Yamcha's haircut. But also, Gohan had Yamcha's haircut for a while too. This Piccolo count? Yeah, Piccolo's bald. Is Cell bald? You guys ever seen that cursed image of Cell taking off his hat? And he's just like, he's got a head full of hair below his helmet, underneath his helmet. <laughs> you know what you, you know what you're talking about? The, the cursed image? <laughs> also, hey, what's up, Meadow? You guys know which image I'm talking about? <laughs> Look up Cell with hair. It's so funny. The only cell meme I know is the NBA 2K one of him dunking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! I think I know which one you're talking about. Deleted that one from memory. There's some cursed Dragon Ball images out there, dude. Put in six hour? Hell yeah. Dude, there's hella cursed Dragon Ball images. You ever seen a gender bent Ginyu Force? <laughs> there, there are. There's like an entire, like art thing out there for gender-bent Ginyu Force. It's actually kind of cute. Female Jace kind of cute, though. Little Aussie girl. Why is he Australian? <laughs> in the English version. What does he sound like in JP that they made him Australian? There's so many weird changes in the English version, they just do them. They just localize that shit. 90s localization though, you know? So it's like not one to one at all. We made it up. Source, we made it up. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. 
This should be enough, right? Men, baby English and JP so close. Oh yeah! Come to think of it, yeah. <laughs> We're pretty one-to-one. -one. I think it's because uh, JP Baby sounds like an English Dragon Ball character. You know? You know what I mean? He's got that, that gravelly throat thing going on. He's got this voice going on kind of thing, right? Like every Dragon Ball character sounds like that in English. Darksider! Thanks so much for gifting a tier one to Hunty. Yeah, check out Hunty's channel if you guys haven't. She's super cool people. Plays fighting games and doesn't afraid of anybody. This guy looks so silly, dude. With his green hair. That digit. Yeah, my team's too tanky now. Like, I don't even need to fight these. Maybe I should run. Maybe I should start fleeing battles. Because I think I'm strong enough now where this is like... Just slowing us down. Yeah, what the hell? Dodori is stronger than us. You know what the difference is though? Is he's not getting ganged up on by six party members. Yeah, <laughs> he's 22k? What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. He was a pretty challenging fight at the end. Oh, we finally made it! Yeah, yeah, this is where I need to be. So I think if we go north, when the ball's up here. It's gotta be here, right? Maybe in this hole. Take a looksies. Something stole the item, Grandpa. Huh? Wait, what the fuck? Wait. They stole my grandpa? <laughs> what did the grandpa card do again? Was that a good card? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> grandpa! Grandpa's gone! What the hell? I don't remember what grandpa did. If I talk to that hole again, is it just gonna steal the shit again? I got baited, dude. I thought this was the Dragon Ball. But it's just a thief. Yeah, maybe I should just leave them. Cut my losses. The fucking hole took my grandpa. Insane. Can't believe that shit. Grandpa won't be returning to Earth with us. Yeah, I gotta go to the left side next. <laughs> he pulled a Yu-Gi-Oh! Fucking took my grandpa's soul. Made me play trading card games. Children's trading trading card games. Why is Yu-Gi-Oh's plot so silly? It's actually ridiculous. I rewatched re Duelist Kingdom within the last year. Because I never got to like really focus in and hone in on how dumb it was. I was like, wow, this is really dumb. I love it. Your, ga your game text would be bugged and say Chatsu for some reason. Really? I think the... The translation's still kind of iffy in some of the texts. I don't want to go to work, chat. Go to work for me. Who wants to go to work for me? I want to stream. I want to stay home and stream. I'm going to make YouTube videos, mom. You can't stop me. I'm going to defeat the algorithm, mom. I'll train under 10 times gravity every day to defeat the algorithm. Gotta read the Yu-Gi-Oh manga? I mean, I did read the first couple of chapters 
to which I was very shocked at how different it was. <laughs> like, anime Yu-Gi-Oh! is so toned down from the manga, holy shit. Manga is so different. There's like a weird like pervy undertone to like a lot of like the manga stuff with uh with Anzu. And like the shadow games are like super hardcore games where it's like, hey, what if we uh what if we played that one game where you put your hand on the table and then stick knives through your fingers until you hit one of your fingers and cut them off? <laughs> what do you what if we do that? And then the enemy is like, no, I don't want to play anymore. And then Yami's like, no, but isn't it fun? Don't you like this? He's just like mind breaking bullies and shit. Yeah, you fucking lose? And then <laughs> your soul goes to hell forever? <laughs> what a punishment, dude actually insane like the card game aspect of Yu-Gi-Oh didn't even happen until like way into the series way into the manga series but the start of the series was just like a bunch of death games it was just about this kid that was like strangely possessed by some cooler version of himself and they would challenge other characters to death games Aiza walk along Bro wasn't even playing with cards, just killing people. Yeah, dude! The card games were just much later. I think the card games were like a gimmick that they ended up sticking with because it was making so much money. It was so popular. And then they just rolled with it. Like, when you print that much money, you're just like, well, I guess we gotta change the entire show now. <laughs> we gotta change the, in the entire manga now. Fuck my other ideas. Fall in on this. We are warden, what's good? Welcome! How are you? I summon Pot of Greed! That's the one that's, that draws three, right? Draws three cards? With Pot of Greed? What's sick? I think the manga comes full circle by the end, and it isn't about the card game. Really? The anime is so weird then, huh? The anime is just like this newly Made I wonder if there's, like, manga enthusiasts in Japan for Yu-Gi-Oh! that hate the anime. Like, they think the anime fans are fake fans. <laughs> they think all the anime fans and the card game enjoyers are fake fans. You're not a real Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. It's like how Dragon Ball has, like, the argument between, like, Z and vanilla Dragon Ball. And even Super. Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh has that between manga versus anime. See that VR video where the guy keeps doing it? Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of! <laughs> that's the one I'm thinking of! It's so good! Um, Mega Giga Farig, welcome. Thanks so much for the follow. Mega... Mega Gira Farig. Well, maybe I should just use this. Nah, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Big chillin'. Learn Sparking Zero drop gameplay. I had to freak out and remember my childhood. Yeah, it was a... Uh, was it earlier this week? I wanna say it was like... On Tuesday or something. They had some gameplay pop up. Dr. Apothecon, welcome. Oh, I found the water. Found the gamer girl bathwater, haha. <laughs> Take a sip, Gohan. Hello, Gohan and Dende. What can I do for you? How'd she know my name? It's the fairy that guards the entrance. She knows everything about everyone. She could help us. Find the Dragon Ball. We should go to the Elder of the Namics. The Elder? The most ancient of our people. Shall we go? Of course! I want to see him! You must turn the cranks in the cave to the south. Cave to the south? Wait, what? Wait, what is this? What are they talking about? What cranks? Do I have to go to a different cave now? 
What's going on? Yeah, this is super patty. <laughs> oh, the key! Really? So it's a separate cave and I have to go there and then activate some kind of thing. Okay. I think I'll start escaping battles and then see if we can move a little quicker. Oh, Dodoria looks pretty good in blue, man. I like Baja Dodoria. The Baja Blast. Do you have an escape card? Yeah, maybe I should use my escape card. I don't know, do we have to come back here later? Because I still haven't found the Dragon Ball. If I have to be back here later, maybe I should just save the card. Now to return to this fairy. I see. I see, I see. Wait, did they let you go to the other cave first? <laughs> or did I have to do this one? Did I do it in the wrong order? This is part of the story where they find the Elder Guru. Ah! You know, it's funny because the uh, Attack of the Sands had a lot of padding, but I didn't mind it because the game looked so good and played so good. Like, it wasn't a big deal. Sid ran! Damn, he abandoned his homie. Is that energy coming out of me or him? Why are we getting all these cool attacks now? Da -na -na -na. I'm gonna make pixel art of me in this art style and then animate it as a parody. There's so much I want to do, chat, and then it's just you don't have the time. No time. All my energy goes away <laughs> by the time that I'm home. But during the day, I'm like, oh man, wouldn't it be cool if I got this done? Yeah, let me see if I have an escape card. Can you buy the escape cards? The hell? Scouter? Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. What kind of information does the show? I don't think I have an escape card. Yeah, I don't have one. Da -da -da. Oh wow, they just repeat the text. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, let's just escape battles then. Maybe I can get situated with how to navigate through this cave. Oh, but if I escape, I'll lose all my Z cards. I hate it. Yeah, because doesn't it downgrade your cards every time you escape? But also, it's like, how long am I really planning on holding on to these, right? Only if you fail. Ah. Interesting. God, there's some really interesting mechanics in this game. Whoever designed this, like, entire battle system, like, definitely put a lot of thought into it. Like a 90s game designer. Damn, Curl and you're OP! What the fuck? He's wrecking them. Oh, one of them survived. Because he had seven defense. My turn. You never this <laughs> you never saw this coming. I summon Pot of Greed. Yeah, I'm glad I buffed Curlin too. Instead of those other losers. I don't know, does Yamcha have anything interesting? Chato has a stun, but when you think about it, it's like why would you stun someone when you can just wail on them? Your attacks probably do way more. I don't know. The stun could be good. It depends on how long it lasts. Yamcha's just fast. Ah, that's true. Yamcha has the ability to 
usually attack first before anyone else. We got high speed. Oh, they ran for me. I like my I like my little Gohan wobble. He's wobbling his wobbling his little legs. All right, fuck it. I'm putting my foot down. We're just gonna have to not care. <laughs> Okay. It did! It did downgrade my cards! I'm sad! <laughs> it took my Z cards down to a 7. When I failed to run. It's okay. All things will come back someday. What happens if you run out of cards? Does it just stay at 1 or does it prevent you from escaping at all? Goodbye, Tian! Chao Tzu! Uh-oh. Escape goes away? Oh, that's what happens? Oh shit. That's interesting. It's actually not that big of a cave, now that I'm navigating it again. Oh, we're, we're, out, we're almost out of runs. Wobble, 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 wobble. Oh, we're out of here. Peace. All right, let's go find this other cave. And somewhere down here? Cave to the south. Ooh, hang on. There's some stuff here. Some destroyed buildings. You been in the mood for an old school RPG? Maybe Legend of Gaia? I never got to fully play through that game, but I always wanted to. Wasn't that the one that had the special attacks where you had to put in inputs to do them? Dun -dun. Like you actually have like a move list? Yeah, that's such a cool idea. It's like... Si oh, what's this? I got some Zenny. What am I gonna do with 58 Zenny? It's like fucking uh, Sabin from Final Fantasy VI, right? I like when RPGs have some kind of mechanic that uses like time-based attacks or inputs. Did this guy lie to me? Did that fairy lie? I don't see anything to the south. Oh, maybe it's this cave actually. Yeah, I think it's this cave. Oh, my bad. Wrong option. No Dragon Ball, though. Just a random switch. <laughs> this cave is brown. I miss the blue cave. This cave's stinky. Yeah, it's just 58 Zenny in a random jar. Now I'm scared. I'm scared to look in random holes ever since one of them took my grandpa. <laughs> Nothing there? Okay. False alarm. Ooh, we got a branching pathway. Where do you guys want to go? Up left or down? Uh-oh. I can't run anymore, God damn it! <laughs> it's so over. It's so over. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take this one out. I can just auto battle, huh? I don't know why I'm battling manually like some kind of chump. How are these enemies? Are they good? Any strong? Drink some water. I don't think I drink enough water, guys. Because every time I drink it, it like it, it tastes strangely good. Like my body's constantly telling me, like, "Yeah, you like that shit." I'm like, "Yeah, I, I guess." <laughs> but I wanted to drink soda. I wanted my sodi pop. 
Is your pee yellow? Yes. Extremely. It's contaminated. I don't know, man. Water's boring. <laughs> if I'm like eating a yummy meal, water's like the last thing I'm thinking about drinking. I like having something to drink alongside my the stuff that I'm eating. Need more water? I'll try drinking more water. I think my biggest problem is, uh, my voice is, like, really inconsistent. Like, there's just days where I'll have, like, a stream plan, but my voice will be, like, completely shit that day. Like, today kind of feels like that. I don't like my voice today. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> I, I, I don't- I don't like the way I'm talking right now. Maybe water will help with that. Sound like you've been sipping whiskey and smoking cigars all day? Yeah, yeah! I got the chain smoker voice. I've always found your voice to be hella soothing. Thank you, I got Surely you've noticed too the inconsistency too though, right? You ever felt like my voice was inconsistent from one stream to another? You're like listening to a different streamer? Like, wow. It's grating. See? That's how I feel. I'm gonna go up. It's the greens having men. What are they doing here? What are those dweebs doing here? I haven't seen them for a while. Maybe they're super weak. It'd be cool if we could spend the rest of the year playing Dragon Ball games. Might be a nice excuse to go back and play the old ones that I've always tried to shill on this channel. I'm down. Not really, trust me. I've heard some grating voices, like four to five packs of Newports and drinking Moonshine all day grating, and yours is far off from that. Well, that's good. I got that going for me. Well, you know the thing is? It's like, I don't even, like, drink or smoke. The most unhealthy thing about me is, like, probably my sleep schedule. And the fact that I, like, barely ever exercise. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There's, I could be doing a lot worse, I think. In terms of health. Damn, I'm almost level 30, holy crap. So fast. Feels like just yesterday I started this. Nope. We're running. Peace! Oh, fucking big cave. Always with the big caves. I don't even remember this many caves being in the game. Oh, what's this? Actually, I haven't even looked at my dragon radar. Apparently there's something around there. Let's go in this hole. What's in this hole? Ooh! Little glory hole? Well, why don't we stick it in and find out what's inside? Something's here! Don't touch it! You're right, Dende! Wait, what? <laughs> what, what is this interaction? Why, 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 why is this a room? Why is this a room? 
Why didn't he tell me that about the other holes that I've been touching? Why is it this one specifically? That he's like, no, and then he like slaps my hand. <laughs> he's like, stop it. No, Gohan. <laughs> no, Han. Dame, dame. <laughs> that was the glory hole? <laughs> it must be. It was the naughty one. Dende knew. What up, beans? Warning, danger, do not touch. Wait, what the fuck? What's this thing for? We shouldn't touch it. Wait, what? Why is Dende acting so weird? Is this the same guy we've been... We've been uh, traveling with? I'm gonna look inside. We got Shenron. Yeah, how come we got to touch this hole and we got Shenron out of it? You know how good Shenron is? <laughs> You know how good of a pull that is? -da. Wait, I don't have any MP to restore. I have to drop it. I got a fucking Shenron. Played more DMC4 but didn't want a game too late. Dang, you're responsible today. That's very commendable. A better man than I. I got work tomorrow and like, my last thought is going to bed early. I'ma stay up and fuck around and find out. It's game time, bro. Look, a crank. What's this? It looks like it opens a path somewhere. Alright, I think we opened up the fairy crank thing. I think it is activated. That's so weird. What if he wasn't in my party? He has to be though, right? Can he die? <laughs> Cranking on the stream. I'm jorking it. I'm, I'd be in the club jorking it. Maybe I can't touch this one either. Maybe that was the only one I needed to touch. The rest are dangerous. Wait, this is a crank too. Opens up a path somewhere. Huh. That's weird. Why is this cave so big? <laughs> I don't want it. Mm. <laughs> I don't want a cave anymore. <laughs> I just want to progress. Fucking cave's huge, bro. There should be three switches? Oh, really? Fuck. It's so easy to get lost, dude. Like, I'm walking a certain direction right now, but I might be walking away from where I'm supposed to be. I'm not sure. They're just so open. It's not as, like, uh, linear looking as some of the older caves where it's just you're running in a straight line, like a straight tunnel. What the maps look like in this game? Maybe there's some kind of strategy guide. Da -na -na -na. Yeah, maybe we can find a guide or perhaps an ASCII art map on Game Facts that will tell us where the cave thing is. The cave switch. Let's go Tien. I like how Tension Han was too long, so they're like, no, your name is Tien from now on. <laughs> You'll forever be Tien. Why is it 10 and not 10? <laughs> Why didn't they just go with 10? I think Chiaotzu still calls him 10 in, in JP version. 10 wouldn't have been a bad name. Oh, 
Oh, where'd I go? Oh, hang on. Feeling lucky about this hole. I think this hole's the one. Got the Yadja Rob. <laughs> the fucking tax limitations are so good. It's one of the limitations going from, uh, from JP to English, right? Like, we found a character earlier in our party named uh, Tsumuri. And, like, in Japanese, that would have been. Three text spaces. But in English, it's like fucking. like seven letters, and the last letter doesn't even fit in the allotted space. He survived? In a way. I haven't seen him for three hours already? No way. Time flew. That's so fast. This song is too fast for me to sing. <laughs> I'm not going to bother anymore. I'll do the easy part. I'll do this part. -na 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 -na. Get it stuck in your head, chat. Sing along at home. Perhaps infect your loved ones with it. <laughs> the curse is now yours. You'll decide what to do with it. Will you keep it to yourself and suffer alone? Or will you sing and shout at the world? And also make the world sing with you. The answer is obvious. Right, this has got to be the door. This has got to be it. This is like the laziest dungeon ever. <laughs> like all the all the fucking rooms look identical. Every room you go in just has a. Little hole you walk into, a little glory hole. Wonder where the third one is. Might be out of the way. Hmm. Wait, what is this? Get rid of this guy. What item did I just get? Still got this Goku card too. What does Goku do? Uh, it changes uh, something to a ZZ card and a favorite. That's crazy. What the hell? SOP. Oh, I got an escape card. Okay, okay. Nice. Didn't I have two of those? I do. Okay, I do have some escape cards for if I don't want to go through this entire cave. Yeah, I remember Janemba's in one of the games. He's in the third one. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's red. No, they made me waste my shit. They made me waste it. Shouldn't touch it. No touching. Sorry, it's not fun. Yeah, I'm just ready to move to the boss battles, to be honest. I want to get... The, the game is, uh, like, so enjoyable when you're going through the story stuff. But I guess if they rush it... It would be, like, too short of a game. Like, Raditz Saga? When you think about it, was one boss battle. <laughs> it was just... one guy. Right, it's like, how do you, how do you design that into a video game? You have to have... Goku and Vegeta running around and beating up on small enemies before they reach Raditz, right? 
I wonder how Kakarot does it. What are you fighting Kakarot? Are you just fighting like... Goons? <laughs> What's like the common enemy type in that game? Yeah, because you're not always able to fight a character who's a boss, but you have to find some way to fill the time. Oh wait, is this it? Or is this the one I've already touched? I can't tell if I found three or not. I've definitely found two. I think this one we've already been to. Have I found them all then? Because I definitely don't think there's another hole that I haven't touched. At least not on this side. Yeah, yeah, there was like one up here and then that one. What's left? Anything on this side? Fighting rogue farmers in the Raditz saga would be crazy. <laughs> yeah. We've had enough. Had enough of this oppression. We're rising up. The farm the farmers are not being protected. Duh. Where was the farmers to protect us when the aliens attacked? Why does no one care about us? Even though we're handling all your food and crops. Yeah, the farmer revenge arc. <laughs> Movie 14. Dragon Ball Movie 14. Where's the DB RPG where you play as villains? I want to know what the fuck happened to Raditz. Like, where did he go so wrong? What happened to that guy? <laughs> why is he why is he the way he is? I think I know he hung out with Vegeta a bunch, but Jesus Christ. I bet if Betty White was alive, Jake Paul would fight her next. Hey, what's up, Jallo? When's the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight supposed to happen? That fight sounds so stupid. But I will watch. <laughs> this entire thing's a farce. But I will watch. I will- I will participate. Perhaps while eating some nachos. It's in July. Yeah, I did hear Daigo was playing Jamie. Is he bored? What's going on there? <laughs> What's happening there? Sounds like he got real bored. It's an exhibition, so it doesn't go on any of the records. Da -na -na -na. Couldn't they just fake the whole thing? What if it's all a publicity stunt? And we're just like, hey, we can make money off of this. You want to make money? What if we pretended to like really hate each other and like post a bunch of like videos on social media of people getting riled up? over our our dumb fight that we're going to become super filthy rich over. 60 mil? That is an amount of money I will never understand. I'll never really truly understand the scope of having 60 mil. <laughs> you know? That's a lot. What do you do with that money? You had 60 mil, what, what do you even... What do you spend it on? Right? Like, do you do you wake up living the same day you've always lived? Like, probably not, right? You gotta waste it somehow. Or else it's just sitting there. It's like having a potion that you're not using in an RPG. You might as well use the potion, idiot. If 
I was rich, I would be irresponsibly rich. I would be, like, so dumb with my money. I would see how much I could, like, game the system. Like, <laughs> hear me out. I, I would walk up to people on the street and just try to get them to do stuff for me. Be like, hey man, can you do a backflip? And he's like, no. It's like, well, can you do a backflip for for a thousand dollars? Huh? You think you can do a backflip now? And then, and then you just watch. You just watch and see how many necks you could break throughout the day. Uh, that would be my life. I would be an irresponsibly evil rich person. I should not be rich. Yeah, I'm about to be a TikTok influencer. It's like, I'm not even doing TikTok for money. I'm just doing it for the views because I'm bored. I just wanted to see if I could invest in some, some new hobbies. Have I been to this hole? I think so. Yeah, the green seven men are back. It jump scared me. It's like, what are you guys doing here? Dude, where where I'm gonna look at a map, dude. This is bullshit. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some map searching. <laughs> Game facts, where are you? Game facts, where's the ASCII art map? No, I'm about to walk my ass through this entire cave. <laughs> Let's see. Legend of the Super Saiyan. I loved GameFAQs maps, though. Maybe it's fun that we're searching for one. Okay, found the board. I feel like the... Oh, cave maps. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Here we are, baby. Hole in the wall. Yeah, this would be it. Wait, look how well drawn this is. Is this the one I'm in for sure? It looks like it. It does appear that way. Where's some... The search what? <laughs> Wait. Did they not tell me which ones to search specifically? Have I been to the mall already then? I think so. There was a one at the entrance, but... Oh, we could try heading back. Right? I think it wouldn't hurt. Yo, what's good, Knuckle Dew? Long time to see, dude. You remember me? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Oh. When you coming back to SF? I still play it occasionally as a hobby. I wanted to use uh, Ed and play Ed for Evo. But my Ed's like... Still needs some work. It's funny, I met Knuckle Dew when he was like super young. Because there was like. <laughs> we, were, we were both playing Street Fighter Cross Tekken, that's what it was. We were both Cross Tekken fans. Well, I don't know, I was a fan. I don't know if you were a fan. I liked it. <laughs> but it's crazy now, like how much time has passed. We've become all sick nasty. Gonna win Evo this summer, no doubt. Nah, I... I don't know. SF6 is pretty crazy. Of all the games to become a champion at, that's like... The least realistic one. <laughs> we gotta aim lower. I gotta go find like a... 
more niche game. Maybe, uh... Maybe someone no one plays, like... Anime fighting games. <laughs> I don't like it even once and never gave me the room back. I got one and done. Yeah, because I stopped playing after that because they released the version 2013 patch and I didn't like it. I have a I have a hundred percent win rate against Knuckle Dude, that's crazy. Insane. I remember being spooked though, cause I think you did a... you did like stand fierce into flash kick. And I was like, oh fuck, no one does stand fierce in a flash kick. <laughs> like, no one bothers with that. I'm scared now. I gotta nip this in the bud. I gotta, I gotta beat you before you download me back. <laughs> no one does stand fierce in a flash kick. It's too much work. I just go back to the fairy, right? Let's go back to the fairy. I did pretty okay last Evo for SF6, and I was using Jamie. I actually got like pretty decently in out of 5,000 people or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, first year is always fun for new games because that's when you have like the most number of entrants and you don't really know what to expect, right? There's a lot of uh, people who show up and just perform really well, and you've never heard of them. Like, I fought fucking Uma, dude. The guy who won the million dollars for the big SF6 tournament. I ran into him at EVO, and he sent me to Losers. I remember thinking, like, oh, this guy's jury's, like, really good. But I had no idea he was gonna make a million out of it! <laughs> fucking million dollars! Insane! How do you think he's spending the million dollars these days? Who knocked you out in losers? It was a uh, Brian F. Yeah, Brian F's JP. I have to mention that part specifically so you guys know that it was partially JP that was at fault. Like, Brian F's a really good player, but, <laughs> but, JP. Enjoy your cave tattoo. Thanks, I'll try to, I'll try my best to enjoy it. <laughs> Take it easy, OVB. Thanks for stopping by. Also, Dubs, what's good? What up, Dubs? How's it going, man? I don't know, dude. JP is ridiculous. It's crazy that like we'll be able to look back at him in a couple years and be like, "Wow, how did we let that version of JP exist?" They nerfed a lot about JP, so I, I think it's to the point where like a lot of people don't even want to play him as often. I think he'll become more niche. I think the only people who stick to JP will be people who, like, truly like the character. It's time to invest in Blanca Stonks, dude. <laughs> Those Blanca Stonks are looking pretty good right now. Yeah, what, what was, uh, what was Brian F saying about Ed? Yeah, Ed's, Ed's got some flaws. He has a lot of, like, mental stack issues, because <laughs> so much of his neutral is dedicated to you stopping people from DI'ing or jumping at you, but he doesn't have, like, the fastest ways to deal with those things, because his buttons are kind of stubby and his anti-airs are kind of slow, and so you have to react really fast to play him, which is straining over a long period of time. Like, whenever I play Ed for a long session, I can feel myself, like, getting tired. 
There's a JP that kind of stomped our small scene and made all the noobs and beginners stop playing. Wait, really? But they already did his damage, right? Because they all quit already. And they're like, oh, this game's dumb. But really, they didn't hate the game. They just hated JP. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, you have done well, but... What do you mean, but? If you want to pass through here... Wait, that wasn't a sentence. <laughs> that wasn't a sentence! <laughs> what do you mean if I want to pass through here? What was the second part? <laughs> what, 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 why didn't she, it's like she died before she could say the most important thing. Wait, which way? Do I go left or? I think, oh, I go left. The damage is done! Oh no. I don't know, man. Like, I think it's never been easier to get into. I know people still get intimidated. They're like, nah, I don't want to do it. It seems so stressful. I'm like, no, dude. You just gotta pick the easy shit. <laughs> and there's easy shit in like every game. There's characters that are carried in every single fighting game right now. You just gotta... Look up a YouTube guide from your favorite content creator, and then copy their answers. If you don't want to work for yourself, you know? Like, with me, I'm pretty happy picking any character, because I don't take fighting games that seriously. Like, I'm not playing them competitively, like I used to. And so it's, it's really nice not having to worry about it. If fighting games are your job, or if you compete, or if you're like sponsored or whatever, that's like a different story, right? I, that I can actually see being really stressful. But yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm on cruise street, dude. It doesn't matter <laughs> if I win or lose, but if I win, it feels good. Cause I'm like, oh, I, I don't even play this game type of mentality. <laughs> I've never even touched this game. This is my first time. Yeah, I'm like a casual tryhard. Or I'll still try pretty hard. But if I like lose, it's like no skin off my back. I think I've always had that kind of personality though. Even when I was like playing competitively, I think I still didn't take it too seriously because I still used characters that I thought were cool. And I didn't really worry too much about picking whatever was the absolute best, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I used to beat myself up over a lot of losses, too. But in the bigger picture of things, I was, like, definitely playing for fun. Rather than playing for placements or whatever. Didn't get the best cards to deal with these assholes. I'll keep this double Z though. Cause you see so often guys who like play fighting games and they really stress themselves out over it, right? To the point where it's like, it's not even a fun thing for them anymore. I don't think that's a good situation to be in. I bet everyone has this type of person at their locals, right? Where you beat them and then they feel like extra salty and make you feel bad for beating them, kind of thing. <laughs> and it's like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for winning. Wait. Maybe I'll do this one.
Smash was crazy because some people would be like openly frustrated mid-game. That's when I learned to wear headphones. Cause like, I'd feel bad I was making them like hate themselves. Yeah! And then you start playing worse, right? Because you're like, you, you're like trying not to, to make their situation worse. But as a result, like you end up losing the match sometimes. And then you feel worse. <laughs> Because they felt worse, and you're like, "Fuck this shit." I'm never sandbagging again, dude. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put on those headphones. Enough is enough. Putting my foot down. I'm sorry, bro, but your mental health does not <laughs> exceed my desire to beat ass right now. Apologies. Yeah, those guys are no fun to play with. When you lose in that scenario, it's just a lose-lose? Yeah! It's like, God damn, I threw for a baby! <laughs> Pretty casual in fighting games. I just find the fun thing and do it. It's a nice mentality to have. I think most people should have that mentality, but instead, like, tournaments and, like, the spotlight and stuff have kind of taught everyone to dream. Everyone wants to be a dreamer when they should instead be a viber. Because let's be, like, realistic about it, right? If you're not in the position where you can like treat the damn thing like your actual job like if you got other obligations to do you're already at a severe disadvantage over people who literally do play fighting games as a job who will play while you're working your 9 to 5 or whatever and maybe you're trying to get out of your 9 to 5 <laughs> and create opportunities for yourself and that's fine but i think it's okay to be realistic too and not beat yourself up over it i guess It's okay to be mid. <laughs> it's alright to be mid. Fighting games are dope when your identity doesn't revolve around being good at them. Yeah, man. And I've definitely met a lot of individuals who have, like, fallen for that trap. And it sucks to see, because, like, it just takes... They're stripping enjoyment out of something that they could be enjoying. But they've, like, turned it into this toxic thing. Hey, what the fuck are these guys? What? They're fighting. Which one do we help? Nail, he's the one on the Wait, we're gonna help Nail specifically? We just chose that quick? Okay, fine. I guess we're picking a side here. Who's the other guy that we're fighting? That's cool though, we finally ran into Nail. Use these. Damn, they look they look like Piccolo. <laughs> Is that Piccolo's portrait? Is it the same one? Nineteen damage. Uh oh, this guy's kind of tanky. I guess this is like a mid-boss or dungeon boss, because I haven't fought one for a while. Yeah, it's, it's Nail. We're gonna run into Nail in this game. And he's gonna sacrifice himself later to fuse a Piccolo. But that's later. If you're mid, you're already better than 80% of the player base. You can be proud of that. No, but that's not true! Because the person who feels worse 
in tournaments is not the person who's mid, but the person who got second place. That is the person who experiences the most pain and who feels zero acknowledgement of their own skill. Because being second place just makes you the first place loser. <laughs> Truly terrible. There is no escape. Oh, maybe I'll use Tien's. Yeah, let me use Tien's uh, tri beam because I haven't used it very much. Alright, this better do damage though. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, Krillin. Alright, but this guy's name is also Nail? We're fighting, like, a fake Nail then? I thought we were helping Nail or something, but I guess we're feeding up a fake. Who is also named Nail. Chatsu with the tech chase. This shots is doing better damage than before. Try beam ha! Damn, that's hype. Hey, oh, he fucking dodged! <laughs> no! Wait. Tian got the tech. Tech chase. It's not bad, but I wanted to see how much damage he would actually do. Dang, I got 400 HP? What the hell? Bro. When did that happen? Oh, This is kind of sketch. I'm kind of scared to use that last card, so I'm gonna keep it. Now is using y'all to master Ultra Instinct, it seems. Dude, I always thought Nail was sick as hell. I don't know what it was. I think it was the coat he was wearing. He had the sick-ass coat. He's like, really? We didn't really know too much about the guy? Other than he was like a loyal bodyguard, like a strong and silent type. Yeah, he's just a cool guy. Piccolo's supposed to be cool too, though! <laughs> I guess Piccolo had a lot more angst. Like with Piccolo, he has like moments of anger and goofiness that eventually came through. But Nail is like a fresh slate. He was just mysterious still. Bats and Pycon? Yo, Pycon's sick! I love Pycon! <laughs> He's actually, like, one of the best filler characters ever. I think he's legit. Of all the characters they could have included as a filler, I think he saved that particular filler. <laughs> like, it's definitely one of the things that... Out of all the changes between Dragon Ball anime versus uh, manga, that's like, that's like a win for the anime. Also, uh, Redian, thanks so much for the follow. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Is it Redian or Redian? Also, Leviathan, welcome. How's it going? I really enjoyed Superhero bringing uh, Piccolo back to the spotlight. Yeah, I kind of brought back a lot of the characters into the spotlight again, which I appreciated. I like seeing everyone in the Tournament of Power in, um, in Super as well. <laughs> Freaking Superhero straight up gave Piccolo like a new form. The, the Golden Piccolo. The Piscolo. This Piccolo when he hasn't drinking enough water. Too much soda. <laughs> the urine turns yellow. I am now Piscolo. Da, na, na, na. 
Give Piccolo a new form when he's even more green. He became yellow for some reason. That was weird. Why yellow? It's like a golden dragon, right? I like it because he, he kind of like has his own thing going on compared to the other transformations. He becomes like a tank. Hey, oh, we did it! Yeah, he seems to become like a tank. Thanks for the help, but I was only training with the double. How do you- wh what? what? <laughs> I'll take you to Guru now. Wait, for real? The hell? Is there more to this cave I should explore? That's so confusing! <laughs> we're like fighting his double, but he created his double, so we're fighting her for no reason. Is he just watching us struggle? For like... Five minutes? <laughs> He, he, at no point did he decide to, to step in and be like, hey, actually, like, I don't need you to fight. That was, that was my training thing. Yeah, also, how, what is the double? Is it like a real thing? Is it, a, is it another Namekian that transformed? Like, what are we killing? Because we killed something. <laughs> I just, I want to, I don't have enough answers. Also, who the hell is this? Uh-oh. Our cards are all low. He was watching the corner like, these guys seriously suck. I wonder how strong Nail is in this game. What's his BP? Wait, my curling BP is really high now. What the fuck? Whoa, Nail's so strong too! 420... Uh, or 42,000 BP? He might be the strongest guy in my crew. Yeah, that's crazy. It's because he got the Elder Guru boost, dude. Piss the Doria. It's a little, little pissy. Could use some more yellow. I need more lore on Dodori and Zarbon. <laughs> I would like to know more about them. Piccolo fusing with Nail makes him on par with second for Frieza. Wait, for real? Even more than Vegeta? I guess it's because he gets the transformation and Vegeta doesn't. Still gotta find my way out of this cave. That's how you piss this look. Uh oh. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I can't run these little dudes! No way! How? They shouldn't be that fast. Who composed the song? Who made this? In 1992. Are they credited? Are they still making bangers today? I need to know. Oh fuck. No wonder these guys are so fast. It's two guys running in the same body. It's like the Pacific Rim of enemies. <laughs> Tien's got one, yeah. He can also- he also used to be able to grow arms, and then he stopped doing it for some reason. Remember when Tien could just grow, like, spider arms? Tien has all these weird abilities that they just never bring back. Because that was like the thing, right? Because there was like the Kame school and they had the more conventional techniques that we're familiar with. And then they'd had the Dodonpa school and then those guys were like the weirdos. 
They would have all the strange, like, spellcrafty type spells. I only killed one of them. That's not good. Wait, Curlin's got the AoE up. It's your turn, Curlin. Imagine growing extra arms and giving yourself a stranger, but it wouldn't be a stranger because you'd still feel it as your own arm. It wouldn't be a stranger. The stranger has to be... It has to feel like it's not your hand. <laughs> the stranger, the stranger is such a funny thing. Wasn't the ability to fly originally something the crane school uh, made up as well? That sounds correct. I'd have to refresh my memory, but that sounds correct. Ah. Oh fuck! Did anyone die? <laughs> Did anyone die? No, we're good. We're good. I think I healed at some point. I wanna see... I wanna see Nail's attacks. He only has one move? Lame. His stats are high, but I guess he just has energy wave. He suffered the same fate as a lot of other characters in the series. Where they thought up of a cool design or whatever, but they didn't actually give the character any interesting moves. Like Kefla. Kefla's like that. I feel bad for Kefla fans, because they'll never know what it is to not be dry. She is so dry. They'll never know moisture in their lives. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Might as well use it. You know, it says a lot when they bring in Kefla to Dragon Ball Fighters, and even with that, like, she's still kind of dry to play. They did their best, given all the source material they had to work with, and they couldn't find a single thing interesting about her. She's weird, right? She's like, she feels like... She's like a speed type character. But they never really do anything with the speed part. Instead, they just gave her like bullet hell attacks. She just sends a bunch of key blasts to the opponents. But like anyone can do that. That's like half the characters in the show. I guess it must be hard to come up with signature attacks at this point in the game though, right? Like even Jiren doesn't really have a signature attack, does he? <laughs> he has moves that you can identify as like, oh yeah, this is like a move that Jiren would use, but it's not like a signature. It's not like a Kamehameha, right? He just punches beams from his hands. Is what he does. Yeah, that was like the big thing, wasn't it, Sam? Is like Kame Man and Dodonpo were like the rival key blast skills. Dodonpo said to be more explosive. It's like a little, it's like a smaller hitbox, but it's supposed to deal more damage, right? That hit was the most, probably the most interesting. That's pretty cool. Too bad hit became less cool when he fought Jiren. <laughs> it's a shame. 
He was never truly able to recover from that. The eye flash thing Jaren has is pretty cool. You mean the thing they did to avoid animating? They're like, nah. We don't need to have him fight if he just stares at people. We don't even have to move his body, he just... <laughs> have him stare at guys. He's fighting them with his will. I like Jiren though. I think uh, as a character, I like him way more than other people do. A lot of people hate Jiren. I'm okay with him. I like his stoicness. Like, Jiren's coolest thing to me is that he's kind of uh, a character that's supposed to reflect like strength through individuality. He's the guy that got strong without anyone else's help, right? Quite often, especially in shonen anime series, most characters get strong through either the bonds of friendship or, you know, they'll have someone like helping them, right? But Jiren's strength is completely... Like... It's just him. He's just that guy. He's that dude. Yeah, I always liked that about him. It felt like he would've won the Tournament of Power if Frieza and Seventeen and Goku didn't gang up on him. <laughs> like, he, he had too many dudes to fight against. It's like Shishio from Kenshin is like that too, right? Shishio would have won if he had a couple homies backing him up. But instead he got jumped. He died to the power of getting jumped. He got strong as fuck though he made a good argument for being alone. Yeah! I think people get caught up in like the bad writing of his, or like the cliche writing of his backstory. But it's never been about the backstory. <laughs> Who cares about that? Oh fuck. I'm losing so many points because of the run failure. Oh? What's this? I bet it's a trap. Grandpa! Oh! <gasps> I got the grandpa I lost from earlier, that's perfect. I did lose a grandpa earlier. New grandpa is here. Is there a Bulma I can get rid of? Goodbye, Bulma. Goodbye. I have no need for you anymore. Wait, where does this lead? Oh, what's the, the bathwater? Gamer girl bathwater for Gohan. Take a sip, Gohan. Wait, where's this lead? This seems to be an exit, but I have more to explore still. I have more- nope, it's not an exit! That's so misleading. That should definitely be walled off. No, let me escape! Thank you. Yeah, Vegeta got jumped too! Vegeta deserves getting jumped though. Because Vegeta murked his homie. <laughs> Vegeta actually, like, KS'd, or he, like, PK'd. He team killed, friendly fired against Nappa. But he, he deserves it. Yeah, the gamer fairy bathwater. to have come up at some point. Like someone in the Dragon Ball universe during the all the arcs of Z and Super, they must have had a conversation where they spoke to Vegeta about what happened with Nappa in the past. <laughs> They're like, so why did you like kill that guy? Why did you do that? Were you guys close? I thought you were close. <laughs> right? I, th I, th I thought, didn't you like spend your entire like childhood hanging out with him? I mean, what was up with that? Are you are you are you a fucking psychopath? Do you do you still feel this way? Because I need to know. 
Yeah, did, did he did he molest you or what happened? <laughs> What's going on here? Dude, Nappa wouldn't dare molest Vegeta. That guy's Prince. <laughs> he would have to answer to to fucking Prince Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta canceled him. He threw him up in the. He yeeted him into the air. And then posted a twit longer. <laughs> it's ins insane. Can't believe he did the homie like that. Nappa evidence does it. <laughs> Nappa's probably got some weird dirt, dude. He's got like a computer at home with like... Just a folder of Cybermen images. And he's like, huh, you like taking pictures of Cybermen a lot, Nappa. What's up with that? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I got a Piccolo card. What's up with all these Cybermen pictures? Cybermen JPEGs. What's the piccolo card? Oh wait, I already have enough piccolo cards. Do I do I need more? Well, it's still good though. Hmm. What should I get rid of? All the items I have now are pretty good. Could get rid of escape, I think. Yeah. I should have enough escapes. I can't get rid of it? What do you mean? What do you mean? Can't get rid of it? Oh, I just got rid of Roshi. Goodbye, Roshi. Your 50 HP means nothing. That's weird, they wouldn't let me touch escape. It did the thinner and thinner. Dude, Nappa's got like wife beater vibes. That's like the only thing. <laughs> that's, that's like the only dirt that I could possibly pin on him. Is if he was married, he would probably beat his wife. That's. <laughs> That's that's it. That, that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty bad, but he's a uh, he seemed like the angry type. But he would feel bad about it too. He'd probably be like the kind to regret it afterwards and be like, "I don't know. I need anger management. I need therapy. I'm not trying to be this way." Yeah, Vegeta's tired of him. He was trying to get rid of him, dude. Trying to get him whacked. Got Guru. No, stop giving me items. I have no more to discard. I have no more to discard. <laughs> Keeping Yajirobe is kind of hype. I'm gonna call Yajirobe on Frieza. Gonna be so sick. Fuck, man. <laughs> what do we do, man? <laughs> what scouter? Is scouter any good? This seems kind of whatever. Like, wh how useful is scouter? What does scouter do, Synapse? What does it mean to display information on the enemy? Does it just show what card they have? Their HP? Maybe their HP. It sees power levels? Oh. That's kind of cool. Is it a one-time use, though? Can it blow up? Maybe it blows up like the show. Works just like in Breakers. It, it can blow up, right? That's kind of neat, so you're like supposed to be able to see... ...how strong a certain enemy is ahead of time before you jump on his ass. I don't know, I'm just out of shit to throw away. I'm gonna have to probably get rid of one of these piccolos. I don't need three of them. 
Yeah, that seems like the play. Goodbye. Maybe flex your <laughs> Yeah, he's like, oh shit, I think I applied too much strength. <laughs> Didn't mean to vaporize, bro. Could be. Aiza, I finally added Tatsun King to Discord. You may now use Tatsun King emote. I don't know why it took me that long to add it, but... <laughs> finally. I don't know why I thought of you when I added that emote. I was like, oh, Aiza loves Tatsun King. That was like his favorite. <laughs> you don't understand how long I was waiting. Long have we waited. <laughs> Such a silly emote. I remember thinking why I wasn't there early this year. I think it was just laziness. Because I added it to Switch but never thought about putting it to... To, uh, to Discord. It slipped the cracks. You're using Ani's, uh, Anya's printing emote as a sub, but all I wanted was him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm truly a terrible content creator. I should have done this sooner. It only took six years. All is forgiven. I hope you will forgive me. I'm a little slow on the uptake. This guy's so tanky, what the hell? It's him! I wonder if people recognize that emote from the image. Like, it's such a shitty looking emote that the correlation, I feel, is not always there. But maybe people are like, oh, that's, that's the guy! That's the guy from the image! Hope you recognize the theme. Nah, man, they'd rather be listening to them, them Falkners, those them Falkner kids. All right, we are out. Wait, was I supposed to go out? <laughs> Wait, Did, where where are we going? Because we still need to find the Dragon Ball, right? It's to the right? The hell? Where's the Dragon Ball? Oh, it's, it's the Guru's house! Let's go take a look. I'll stay here and guard the door. Enter. Huh? It's empty. There's nothing here. The hell? What are we guarding the door from? Maybe the middle is like a teleporter. Maybe it's a walk in the middle, it'll teleport me. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa! He looks amazing! That looks so good. Welcome. Thank you for saving the children. How can I repay you? We need your Dragon Ball. Come here. Please, let me touch you. I would like to read your past. The guru read the past of our heroes and gathered information from Dende. Your heart is pure. Your wish also. You may take my dragon ball. Yo, let's go. Gohan, pure of heart. Let's go. <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything. Passed the test by being an honest boy, a good boy. Welcome, Med! Welcome, Kodo! 
<laughs> One way too long. Dude, I'm glad you're enjoying Dragon's Dogma, though. You must sleep? Yeah, get some rest, dude. I, I was thinking about playing it today, too, but I was like, no, we gotta resume this Dragon Ball RPG. We, we gotta... We gotta resume or else I'll, like, be stuck forever. I'm doing so many quests. Yeah, I'm gonna jump back into Dragon's Dogma 2 next week for sure. I don't know how much... how many streams I'll be able to plan, but I definitely want to play more off-stream as well. Also, Nil, what's good, man? Everyone's so needy. Rena, welcome. Hi, Rena. Inventory's full. Dude, I, I don't have the space, bro. How do I get rid of escape? <laughs> how do I get rid of escape? Maybe I can get rid of the other Piccolo cards here. Fuck it. Wait, Guru raises by 50%? Hmm. Hmm. Whoops. I will awaken your hidden power. Whoa! Such strength! I feel powerful! Thank you for helping my children. They will stay here. Dende and Emmy leave the group. I will stay here. Your wish may not come true. But why? Because I will die soon. And the Dragon Balls will disappear with me. Oh no! What do we do now? How many Dragon Balls did we collect today? DB6, 2, and 4, and 1. We got 2 today. What do you guys think we should do from here? This would be a decent stopping point. Well, I don't know. What's next? Because I'm imagining Zarbon is next. I think how it goes is we probably need to defeat Zarbon and like help Vegeta with that fight. And then... The Ginyu Force would follow up after that, and then after the Ginyu Force, it's straight to Frieza, right? It sounds about right. Question is, uh, do we fight Zarbon soon? Because it is getting kind of late. Do you know if he comes soon, Synapse? Should I resume stream? I'm not too sure. Cool bosses again? Uh, it would be cool to fight Zarbon today. Since, uh... Just continue till you finish the game. <laughs> Just keep playing. It is an option. It's a terrible option, but it is an option. I'd like to fight Zarbon only because we saw him earlier in the stream and it would be nice to... to see a conclusion to that arc. Thank you, Nail. Goodbye. Chaozu and Emmy leave... Wait, Chaozu left? Chaozu? Oh, that's gotta be a typo. <laughs> Shots is still here. I think they meant Nail. Yeah, that's what you were talking about, right, Sanna? You can sleep when you're old. I am old. I'm dying. I'm mega old. Wait, where do we go now? I can't fly over this mountain, bro. Also, did all my characters get buffed? I can't land anymore? Now, let me look at this. Did everyone's powers awaken? They did! Everyone changed uh, to a different element. All the humans. Interesting. What about their BP? Is there a BP increase? Hard to tell. <laughs> now I got a few levels. Interesting. Wait, if I use the escape thing when I'm in the cave, will it take me to the entrance? Or will it take me to the the door that I just entered through? Yeah, so now we have to use this card for the AoEs, and then this one doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. I thought you would be able to choose who you would want to upgrade, but I guess not. Would've been neat, though.
Let's see. Let's see how strong he is. Damn, even Chaozu got the buff. Oh my god, Chaozu! Okay, Chaozu. I feel it. I see the improvement. It feels good when you play an RPG and when you level up and you can actually feel yourself getting stronger. Like, not every game feels that way. You don't always get to have that opportunity to get that feeling. But it's amazing. My favorite is when you play a difficult game where it's like one of the first bosses was difficult for you, and then you come back to him after five hours, and you just- he's like a joke, right? Like Balteus from Armored Core. That kind of thing. It's like, how did I spend like three hours on this guy? And now I just beat him on the first try for free. Some people grind up to level 44 before Guru so they get max level from him. Ah. Interesting. Yeah, because the remaining levels would probably be harder to get, right? You might as well grind early before the scaling kicks in. Fucking Balteus, right? <laughs> Balteus was funny because I think for me he was the hardest boss of Armored Core. A lot of the bosses after that, like Balteus, kind of trains you to deal with. I guess it's Balteus and uh, what was that one boss with the red, the red coral beams? The one that fucking controls like a Zone of the Enders character. <laughs> you fight them in like the, the riverbank area. Yeah, the Millennia boss. I forgot their name. But they were really difficult. Because they had like a runaway zoning type playstyle. Oh dang, Gohan's element changed too? That kind of sucks because I can't use the demon cards for him anymore. Right? Yeah, everyone's got the shared element now. Yeah, the boss in the water pit. Da -da -da -da. I think the final bosses in Armored Core are hard too. Like, the final boss of all the different arcs. Like, when you fight Snail. Yeah, Snail version 2 is hard. And, uh,. Yeah, I don't want to spoil <laughs> for the other bosses if anyone hasn't beaten that game, but yeah, like the end game bosses. All pretty challenging. So what happens if I use escape here? Ibis, yeah. What happens if I use escape? Please take me to the other entrance. Oh shit, that's hype. No, it took me to the same spot! <laughs> Fuck off! How do I get out of here? Do I really have to walk all the way? In a way. In a way. I got owned! It looked like he was going north, so I got all excited. I got schmixed. I can't believe this. This is truly the walk of shame. What was the point of giving us a, a dungeon escape thing if we can't even use it? Uh, nah, nah, nah. I could reload, but oh well. Consequences of my actions and all. Hmm. Need the inventory space. I don't even know what to get rid of anymore. I might have to just get rid of the the 25 boost from 25% boost from uh, King Kai. Now maybe the key restoration stuff. Yeah, I don't think I've had key problems to be honest. 
We can probably just get rid of the key restoration. I think that's the plan. I really like seeing the Elder Guru's, like, sprite. You don't really get a lot of moments like that in this game, where you, you can appreciate all the pixel art. He looks good. The way to get up to him was kind of goofy, because they did, they did this, like, janky elevator thing. Curling about as strong as Vegeta on Earth now? That's unbelievable. Wait, maybe it is a dead end. Wait, how do I get out then? Maybe there's an exit outside somewhere? Interesting. I have no time for these enemies. Yeah, Curlin's OP, Rina. He has like this AoE attack that's been saving me so much time in these fights. As it turns out, not a lot of characters have AoE skills, but he does. Oh, maybe the exit is elsewhere. Yeah, I see. Can't believe they're making me do this. Da -da 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 -da. No! I can't even run these enemies consistently either. I'm gonna fight this Kiwi clone. What's this guy's pun supposed to be? What's... what's Zoak? Like how Android 18 used Scatterbullet all over me? She did what? What did she do? I'm gonna need to see some fan art. A fan art depiction of this. You may commission it. To show me. Huh? Do what? You heard me. Fan art now! I think that drawing your favorite fictional characters having sex with you is commendable. <laughs> I think we should all inspire to be like that one guy who did it recently with the big million dollar budget animation thing. I don't know how much it costs. <laughs> Apparently it was quite expensive. Apparently it was very expensive, but he's just like, yeah, I need I need that right now. I need to spend some money on this specifically. To <laughs> it's fifty thousand dollars? Hell yeah. What's the name of this? Oh, do you guys know what it's called? I don't even know the name of the show. But some guy like really liked this like cartoon character. <laughs> and so he like commissioned a really expensive music video for yeah the has-been hotel girl like the blonde girl from has-been hotel guy named verbalise really liked this girl from has-been hotel yeah 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 they didn't even fuck i thought they did or i thought it was implied i thought the fuckage was implied you may experience Im implied fuckery. Fuckage. She was on top of him on the bed. He was all blushing. It's getting all blushy, dude. I hope this is the exit. I think it is. It's towards the exit, maybe. I look like such a silly little guy walking around. It's two-frame walking animation. Why did he apologize anyway? What happened that an apology was necessary? Because I think I saw the apology. But I didn't understand the context behind it. 
Did people not appreciate? <laughs> A lot of kids watch his videos. Ah. I mean. I mean. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> a lot of kids watch my stream. You don't see me being a role model. I hope not a role model. I've been a particularly bad role model. I think I've I think I've streamed for long enough where I've like I've probably groomed enough kids into being bad people. <laughs> like like if you watched me when you were like 13, then you're probably you know, like now hopefully you're 18 and you're like a shitty adult. Just terrible. Just toxic ass gamer adult. That's my way to groom. <laughs> I'd be grooming that toxicity. That 18x Reno fantasy is just fantasy, let's not make it real. Of course it'll never be real. Cause she's mine. I didn't call it grooming. It is grooming though, isn't it? <laughs> That's what the kids call grooming now. You want to bankrupt over it and become an anti Andrew Tate supporter after? It's like a giga meltdown? It's a weird situation. Oh, this goes deeper. You think Kiwi has any fans from the Dragon Ball fan base? Like, there's just some guy that really liked Kiwi or Dodoria. <laughs> I know there's Zarbon fans, but there's no way there's Dodoria or, or Kiwi fans. Yeah. There has to be a, like, some guy who draws nothing but Dodoria fan art, and he, like, draws really well, too. He's, like, an excellent artist who just draws only Dodoria, though. I just like the ugly bastard. I relate to him. Milk tea Soccer says, hear me out. <laughs> Wait, I'm, we're listening. We're listening, Milk. Can you, can you explain? Which, which character was it that got you? <laughs> You're a Kiwi enjoyer? How many Android 21 fans in chat? I like the Human 21 a lot. I don't know how much I care about the the demon form. But tail though? No, I don't want tail. I just want I just want human. She's like another Android 18. Mm -hmm. <laughs> farmer fans? Oh, there's always farmer fans. There's always farmer fans, because anytime Dragon Ball DLC discussion pops up, people will not shut up about farmer. Be like, haha, you gotta add the farmer DLC, haha. Lol. Lamau. This is not an overused joke. I hope this is the exit. I'm a little lost. are hilarious comedians. It's true. Being a Dragon Ball Fighters streamer, I've never heard the end of that joke. It's always people being like, maybe we should add farmer. <laughs> maybe we should add armor. Maybe we should add farmer or a meshy. <laughs> they do it in that voice. I'm like, no. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. I'm so lost, what the fuck? Where's the exit to this dungeon? 
I think I came from the last. Add Kiwi. Add Kiwi to... to Sparking Zero. How did Dr... How did Dr. Jiro... like, get together with Vami? Was it during his youth or did... did she, was it when he was an old guy? Lurk must end. I'm sleeping now. Have a nice sleep. Take it easy, Zaliver. Thanks for lurking. Hope you enjoyed your lurk. Yeah, maybe she's attracted to his intellect. Because he has very big brain. He didn't seem like a great guy. <laughs> so it must have been some pretty good intellect. Yeah, dude. I need more 21 lore. No, oh, the fucking the fairy spring is this way. But where's the exit? I think the fairy spring is this way. Vami's 21's real name. Yeah, she's like the template when she was human. So the version that we got is- Oh wait, this is the exit! Oh, <gasps> We're fucking out, baby! Let's go! Oh no, it's Vegeta! <laughs> hey, so you're here! Vegeta, you're on name, K. Okay. I see you found the Dragon Ball. Thanks for your effort. No way! Give them to me now. Motherfuck, he's gonna rob our shit? I'd rather fight! Tell him. Oh, what the f Oh no! We got trouble! Oh shit! Why are you looking all sexy like that? Why is this dude looking all sexy? Oh shit, we're, we gotta fight. Is Vegeta on our team? He is on our team. How strong is he? 32,000? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wanna use the scouter on Zarbon. Let's go use the scouter. Scouter! Item's not usable? Wait, why not? What do you mean it's not usable? What's the point of me having it if it's not usable? Hmm. This guy can't be that tough, right? Uh, let me get some water real quick, guys. We got I know we got a boss fight coming up. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna- really quick. Really quick water. I- I need to take quick, quick water breaky. <laughs> BRBs. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back, I'm back. Let's go fight Zarbon. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I can't use my scatter. All my cards are ones. That's sick. <laughs> That's cool. Should we get rid of them? Let's, let's fuck around and find out. I don't know how strong he is. What? He doesn't want to attack! Vegeta, what the fuck? <laughs> we need your help to take this guy out. 25 damage? That's not bad. Maybe we can take him. He's lit- cause he's, he's only normal Zarbon right now. He's not transformed Zarbon. Do 
Damn, look at him. He looks all fabulous. I always thought Zarbon's design was really cool. He'd make a great fighting game character. If he had, like, a mechanic where you could switch between his monster form and his pretty boy form. Okay, I wish he got added to fighters. He would have been a good fighters character. He also has kind of like the... The old school 90s henchman design that I really like. Kind of like a fist in the nerf star villain type of thing going on. Right, we got some, uh. Got a Z card now. Gohan somehow hasn't taken any damage. I think what I'll do is have Curlin. Have Tian attack with the highest card. Curlin can use this one. Chatsa can use this one since he's like kind of squishy. And then. Will Vegeta fight? I don't know if he will fight. Oh! He's attacking! Vegeta's getting off his ass! He's like Pegasus in Yu Gi Oh! if he was a jobber. <laughs> Zarbon's actually really strong though. The only reason he lost is because Vegeta had the Zenkai boost, but he actually beat Vegeta fair and square. He beat Vegeta fair and square and then Vegeta had like fucking sane bloodline bullshit. <clears throat> First femboy to wear thigh highs? Wait! You might be right! You might be right! Truly ahead of his time! Yugi lost to Pegasus too! It all lines up! Math checks out! Yeah, let's go Chatsu! You're not gonna lose to Chatsu, are you, Zarbon? 35 damage. Oh! <laughs> Chatsu! Chatsu, what the hell? That guru buff really made you a monster, huh? Holy crap. Wow, Vegeta's so underleveled. Or maybe I'm overleveled. It's not over yet. My second transformation. Zarbon is transformed. Yo, it became all thick! Oh my god. They just widened him. They took every pixel and stretched it out horizontally by one extra pixel. Do this. Wait, I kind of want to use. Do I have a card that transforms my thing into a super? I don't think I do. I think that's Chi Chi's card, right? I don't have any Chi Chi's. No Chi Chi's. We could scan him with Piccolo. I haven't done that yet. Where's Piccolo at? Piccolo sa! He's got a 5 attack and 6 defense, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't want to change it, because I want to keep this card just so I can like peek into the opponent's deck at any given time. But yeah, it is going to be kind of a, an annoying round. What we could do is uh, maybe not send everyone to attack. Just send a couple. Like that or something. I guess I should have checked if he had an AoE. That's what I really should be checking. Yo, Gohan! <laughs> Nine damage? Damn, he's so much tankier now. I can't believe this guy had nerfed himself to be a femboy. <laughs> Like, he actually becomes a weaker fighter, but he's like, but I look so good. I'm like, oh, that's understandable, I guess. It's truly the, the pursuit of beauty has no limits. You've heard of wide Putin, but are you ready for wide Zarbon? Dun, nah, nah, nah. 
you did that transformation after last night's snack, how do you go back? You just have to jog a bit. You got to jog a lot, actually. Oh, what the hell? Yo! He's got his own fucking special movie animation. Go on, got clipped. Go on, took 44 damage from getting clipped. Alright, let's take a look again. Wait, where's my pickle? He's towards the top. I actually like that he's at the top. Oh, double Z? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what do you mean double Z? What the hell? That means I have to send out... I'm gonna send out just Tien this round, I think. And chill. Maybe Vegeta. Hey Vegeta, you wanna get your ass kicked? How would Vegeta do? I think he would do pretty good. Here, Vegeta. <laughs> You're on your own asshole. Let's see you block. Wait, he sent Krillin out? Wait, what the fuck? Vegeta, what the fuck, dude? He threw Krillin under the bus? That's insane! <laughs> I, that's insane! He can't do that! He like threw Krillin's body in front of himself. So then Krillin like just took damage. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it! This is like the most asshole guest character I've ever seen. Alright, he's got 7 defense but low attack so I think we can afford to attack now. I'm just gonna get rid of all my cards. Vegeta using Krillin as a meat shield? Yeah, he's such an asshole! Holy crap! That's so crazy. <laughs> it's kind of a cool mechanic. Vegeta will randomly throw other party members into the battle so he doesn't take damage. Vegeta can actually hurt your teammates here. Oh yeah, doesn't he have like a move that uh, that kills everyone? There was a bug! There was like a bug where like you have Vegeta like kill Chaozu or some shit. And then some kind of experience thing is is gained. It's weird. It was like a weird bug. Asshole party member that prioritizes themselves over the party is a really cool idea. Yeah! And he's a guest character, so like we don't even have control of him, right? It's totally Vegeta from Namek Saga. Like this game has a lot of cool ideas. So any party member and the XP from the enemy is multiplied by the uh, party member's BP apparently. Because it counts as like almost like you're killing your own party member for EXP. It's wild. Oh, he's got Z attack? Shit. <laughs> it's okay. I just need... I need uh, this one. Alright, okay, I've learned my lesson though. I'm not going to send out Vegeta. Let's go send out Tien to block this shit. Let's go, Tien! How much is this gonna hurt? 13 damage? Nice! Not bad, not bad. Wait, but he's doing a special now! This, this might be scary. I don't know, I haven't had a close call in a while. Seems like the battles on Namek are... They're, they're at a, a lull right now. They're gonna probably get harder later. But right now it's pretty chill. Even Monster Zarbon doesn't seem that bad. He's getting really good pulls though. And he keeps getting Z cards. What's his attack type? I don't think it's this one, so he's not gonna AoE us. I might be able to get away with sending everyone to attack, but it's kind of risk. We'll try it. I'm gonna have faith in my HP. I am at full health for the most part still. It looks like pretty much everyone in my party. Let's go, Han! Let's go, go, Han! No. Go on, please. 
He whiffed and got counterattacked. Curl in time. Let's go! It's so hype. I'm gonna do the Mode 7 dash. The Mode 7 super dash. Okay, okay. It was newming at him. Vegeta energy wave? What's this? Ah, oh, just key blasts? Rapid key blasts? The Vegeta special. Vegeta loves wasting his meter. It's Vegeta 236S from DBFZ. Oh, it's this attack! This is the one that hurts all my party members, right? Shine! Oh shit, we're getting hit by the rocks! <laughs> 21 damage. Oh my god, it's fucking killing all of us! <laughs> you asshole! 40 damage? Oh my god. He's hitting me harder than... than, uh, Zarvan is, dude. Oh, Yamcha got fucked up! <laughs> Yamcha got the worst of it, dude. Dude. He, like, AoE'd everyone, but there's only, like, one enemy and there's a ton of us. He's a Helldiver's teammate that did the tactical stratagem and killed all the friends. Damn, he tanked a hit from Zarbon? Vegeta? It's crazy because Vegeta killing Yamcha here isn't even possible normally, but it is possible here in non-canonical Dragon Ball RPG land where Yamcha has somehow survived Saiyan Saga. <laughs> it's like as Vegeta's killing him, Yamcha's life flashes before his eyes, but also he receives visions of the future where Bulma gets taken away from him. <laughs> and he, he's he's ultimately forgotten as as Vegeta and Trunks are are then a thing. Trunks is born. Yamcha realizes his life is meaningless in the presence of this man. If Yamcha is gone from Dragon Ball, nothing changes, but if Vegeta is gone from Dragon Ball, a lot of bad things would happen. It's ultimately a, a much darker timeline if Vegeta is gone. You ever think about that? You ever think about how expendable Yamcha is, chat? I guess is what I'm trying to ask you. Calamari! Welcome, Calamari. We're uh, getting into some pretty dangerous territory here. As long as Vegeta doesn't AoE us again, then we should be fine, but I'm a little worried. Did Vegeta ever lose this fight? Careful, Tots is bully. I am not bully. I am nice guy, TM. Us nice guys, am I right? The fact that he got cucked by a guy trying to wipe out the planet shows how irrelevant he is. Damn, that's ruthless. No mercy? Oh, wrong item. He's got a super card. Hmm. How bad can it be? How bad can it be? Actually, some of these are two defense cards. It might be really bad. Might have to play it safe this round. Man, look at him! He took no damage! <laughs> He's not even getting hit! Because when he does get attacked by Zarvan, he just tanks it. 
I'll just send out. Uh... Hey, Cha how's Chaozu's tanking abilities? <laughs> is Chaozu. Is Chaozu a god? Chaozu versus Zarbon, let's go. He's the highest HP in my team right now. So I need him to hold this. Key Blast. Oh, yo! What's the damage? 64. It's not terrible. This, though, I don't know about this. 31. Okay. Yeah, he got chunked a bit. Zarbon dodges Chatsu's attack. But Chatsu follows up with a super dash. Connects for 11 damage. Tickles his nipples a little bit. Da -na -na -na. It's got high defense this round. I don't want to. <laughs> Vegeta quit being a bitch. Just fight with us, bro. The most uncooperative motherfucker. Wouldn't mind seeing the Frieza saga uh, with the whole Z team, it would be cool. Maybe they'll remake Dragon Ball in the future. Now that enough time has passed, they can just retell the story in a different way. What comes after Z? I guess they'd have to go back to A. It would be called Dragon Ball A. <laughs> Reset to the beginning of the alphabet. A new series. Gone of the key bleam, let's go! Look at this hand. Hand splayed emoji. Fuck, he dodged it. But wait! Go on with the super dash. Nice go on. What? <laughs> Yamcha, what? Wait! My whole team's on point right now, dude. Poor Zarbon doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, okay, this is good, this is good. I can attack without any worries this round. Vegeta's still being a bitch. As long as Vegeta doesn't get in our way. I think it's more harmful if Vegeta tries to do his, like, AoE shit again. It's good that he's staying out of the fight. Who's gonna kill Zarbon? Might be Krillin! Maybe with this attack. Oh, Krillin! You're a god! Yeah! I did it, guys! Dun, 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 dun. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Pizza party for everyone. Everyone but Vegeta. I see you've made much progress. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but <laughs> You found five of the Dragon Balls. I'll help you find the others, but... I want to use a single wish. Gohan needs my help. <laughs> this translation's so funny. Why should I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Let's go! <laughs> I mean, I guess. I guess, I guess so. When he said let's go, did it mean he's does that mean he's trying to run away? Is that us trying to run? He's just gonna chase us. We're heading back to Bulma? We're almost done! Oh, we joined him. Okay, he's with us. She's on Namek too? What? Vegeta? Goodbye! We had to jump scare you of Vegeta a bit. Oh shit! It's the- <gasps> At the same time, in space. I must train to become more powerful. Alright, guys. Ginyu Force is on the way next. That is going to be the next stream, though. We don't have time for today because it's rather late. So I'm going to save here. And uh, we're going to pick up next time. But that was a lot of fun. 
We got pretty far today. Let me see who's online. Pumps is online. Who can we raid? Da -na -da -na 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 -na. Cherry uh, Belossum, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Da -na 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 Uh, let me see here. Raccoon's like 65,000 BP. That's crazy. How much was Zarbon? He didn't seem that bad. Zarbon actually wasn't too bad. I couldn't scout him. Couldn't use him as scouter. I'm actually not too sure. Zarbon's like 30k. Yeah, it makes me wonder if I'm overleveled or something, because my level was higher than Vegeta's, too. Like, Vegeta was level, like, 26 or something like that. And leveled up, like, twice from that fight. All my other characters are level 30. Have you been grinding levels? Not, not, like, purposefully. I definitely haven't gotten out of my way to do any kind of grinding. I think it's just they kept throwing um, battles my way. They kept throwing random encounters my way and I think I just loved, ended up leveling up naturally. Uh, I don't really know who to raid. Let me go look at my... Recommended channels, maybe. I never get to look at that. Oh, but if you guys have any raid recommendations too, feel free to send them my way. I'm always down to take your suggestions. Thoughts on Relink 1? I beat... What's his face? I beat uh, Lucilius. Once. <laughs> it took three hours, but I beat him once. I don't know, the last time I tried to play that game, the matchmaking was like kind of messed up, so... I guess I'm waiting for them to try to fix that before I jump back in. Yeah, I beat it with like... Bertato, Mike Lee, and um... And Fail. Fail Canceler. We were struggling for a bit because I think, like, we were a little low on damage. And also, just his attack patterns are so freaking ruthless. Oh, Grimmy's on. Oh, Grimmy's been streaming for like eight hours, though. Maybe I shouldn't raid Grimmy. <laughs> How about Jaruna? Jaruna! Oh, Jaruna's... Okay, let's go raid Jaruna. Jaruna just started like 22 minutes ago, but um, uh, Jaruna's a retro game streamer. They are currently playing Ape Escape 3. So I'll send you guys off there. Da -na -na -na, na -na -na -na. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thanks for uh, hanging out and um, hoping to play some more Dragon's Dogma 2 next week. I'll keep you posted on the schedule, but in the meantime... Feel free to join and hang out on my Discord. And uh yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I made a I made a freaking Dragon's Dog my anime opening. <laughs> you guys see the Dragon's Dog my anime opening? Where is it? I probably can't play it on stream due to DMCA today. I don't want to get this video marked, but here. Feel free to watch this and like and subscribe and stuff. It helps. <laughs> my my uh, YouTube videos don't get a ton of views, but I did work hard on this one and it was a lot of fun to make. Okay, that's it for me, guys. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Have a good time on Journey Stream. <laughs>